Hello and welcome to this 2000 point live stream game. I'm Stephen and vi Jake. That's going to come in a minute, the terrain. I'm Jake Box. You're not Jake Box. <laughs> You're Jake Handsome Votan. You didn't even name oh, my last name, did you? I just thought it was Votan. Oh, guys, hold on a sec. The screen's frozen. Okay. Just um, reactivate uh, the A7 Cool. device. <laughs> That's why we do a test stream. Do do. We should all go watch the new Saw film when it comes out. What's what's um frozen? The screen. There we go. It's working now. We're back. We're yeah. good. Yeah. All we good. We do that bit again. What? <laughs> I'll parry a little. Hi, this is my friend Jake. In a box. No, no, I'm Jake Box. You're Jake Box. Yeah, because I see. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Anyway, so this is gonna be a two thousand point game. I'm running the world eaters, and Jake is running the thousand sons. Thousand. Mm. Right, very nice. In this epic clash on this beautiful chaos table. This Titans terrain. Yes, massive thank you to Titans terrain for letting us show off this awesome terrain set. And we're going to be using the Forgotten Furnace set along with the expansion set. And these are both on Kickstarter at the moment. Now, the most amazing thing about these, as you can see, the entire table of terrain literally fits in a box. And as a in box a... advocate yourself. Uh, I'm all about boxes, <laughs> yeah. you know. So... I, think, I think these are um, absolutely fantastic. And like you said, for anybody that, you know, ease of storage. Yeah. He's great. And they make great things to sit on top of our cabinets. They do. <laughs> so. Yeah. So you can check out the Kickstarter. That is in the link below. And it has already been funded, which means there's none of that kind of risk. It's basically happening. It's happening. It's which happening. is absolutely awesome. And we're going to be using the te terrain tonight. Um, myself and Jordan have also filmed a video on how you can use this terrain for every single deployment map. Oh, amazing. So you have a bit of an idea of the orientation of where you want to put your squares and different ideas to kind of mix it up so you can change up the firing lanes and make it a little bit balanced for shooting or um, you know combat armies on every single mission so that video will be dropping over the next kind of couple of weeks but again massive thank you to titans for sending us this terrain set we love titans i'm looking forward to using it i'm really looking forward to using it i've seen so much about it when they did the first run and now this is the next sort of you know, leap into this so it's going to be very interesting to see how it plays yeah now i was worried that you think oh cardboard going to be a bit flimsy mm. and that's like what I thought when I met you actually <laughs> so... being a bit flimsy yeah and <laughs> I mean, cardboard yeah <laughs> yeah of course and I also thought it would just stick up you know but actually we've had it out for probably an hour now yeah and it's pretty flat we've got a couple of this is literally fresh out the box we've used a couple of containers but Aside from that, I think it's actually setting pretty well. Yeah, it's fantastic for, for anybody with, um, you know, that lives in a one bedroom flat, as an example, in the UK. If you know, if you're familiar, you'll know how much you don't really get a lot of space. Yeah. So it's the ability to be able to enjoy games at home in the, in the comfort of a box that is probably what, like, that big. So really big. A couple of rule um, books. Yeah, a couple of rule books big is yep. amazing. So. And also, you don't have to build or paint it, you just literally unfold it. Yeah. You're good to go. It's, awesome. it's like one of those picture books. Yeah. You, you know them too well. I do. I'm very familiar know. with the picture books. Yeah. yeah. On the deck tonight, we've got Jordan. How are you doing, Jordan? I'm all good, mate. I'm excited to see how this goes. Yeah. Rooting for the world eaters. Yeah, I think there's a lot of... Um, I think I'm the underdog in this game, aren't I? But by the well, chat. Actually, well, 60 votes we've had on this poll, and 62% are actually voting for you, Steve. Whether or not that's just you, or whether or not it's the world eaters. Right. Okay. Yeah. But I think I've, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> there's been a lot of people throwing some shade tonight at the World Eaters. They say you've got it in the bag, Jake, is what they're saying. Yeah. It's word on the street. Yeah. I think, I, I think, I don't know. And Seb, how are you doing with your chamomile tea? Is that what you're drinking? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knew it. Mm. <laughs> That's like when a waiter comes in. Yeah, I'm it. good. Thank you very much. Good, 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 good. So we got Jordan, Seb on commentary. Me and you playing. Hmm? So we should probably do like army list or something. Yeah. Who's going first? It's the World Eaters. Uh -oh. It's the World Eaters. Okay, very nice. Okay, so in the HQ department, uh, what we've got is we've got the legendary Khan the Betrayer. He is going to be the Warlord today. Um, and leading his brothers, we've got the Lord Invocatus. And also we have a Master Executioner. So that is the HQs. Then for the um, battle line units, yeah. we've got 10 Jackals. 
We've then also got two units of 10 corn berserkers, and then we have five corn berserkers, and then we've got one dedicated transport of a rhino, uh, and currently in there is Khan the Betrayer, and also 10 berserkers. Oh, I thought he's on his own. <laughs> no, he's not on his own. He's not on his own. We've got another master execution. Well, sorry, the master executioner is leading 10 berserkers. He's leading 10. And uh, the Lord in Vicartus is going to be leading six eight bound. I've got another unit of six eight bound. We've got 10 jackals. And then I've got two units of three exalted eight bound. They're very exalted and very beautiful. And they are in deep strike. Yeah. Very handsome. They are extremely handsome and muscular. Mm. Yeah. So there we have it, that's my list. Okay, awesome. Jake, what's in your army list? Okay, so my list slightly changed, so I've got to try and remember as best I can. Uh, so leading today, we have Magnus, yep. the red, but he has luscious pink locks. He does have pink we, locks. And he's very muscular. And this army's painted by Ben, isn't it? One of our academy students. Yes, Ben. We love Ben. Ben paints uh, minis on Instagram. If you want to go check him out, he's got fantastic armies. And Legend. so thank you so much for letting us borrow this. And as you'll see over the course of tonight, the army is beautiful, as well as the world eaters. So. Yeah, they are painted all beautifully as well. Yeah. So we've got Magnus. We've already spoke about him. Then we've got Araman, or Harry the Man, yeah. as we like to call him. He's on his um, rumba, rumba disc, so all ready to party and have all the fun. Um, he is leading a unit of 10 Rubric Marines, and they have a Soul Reaper cannon and eight... Yeah, eight... Are they flamers. good with Rubrics cubes? No? So then I've got... Um, <laughs> Uh, so then I've got um, an Infernal Master. Yeah. So he's pretty cool. What's he the master of? And then, and then we've got an Exalted Sorcerer on disc. because, And he's not in a unit because he has no friends. Right. Do you see what I'm getting at? Yes. That's okay. And then, yes, Jordan. When, when you're finished, we've got a few Super Chats. And then I've got... I will take my time then. And then <laughs> well, I've got um, two units of, three units of five rubrics. And sorry, the other hero I forgot to mention is, and this is for you, Phil, Bert. Bert's the Exalted Sorcerer. Now, he's not proper Bert because he doesn't have the upgrade for Bert, but he does have Lord of Forbidden Law. Oh, he's, yeah. Yeah, which is super cool. And so, what's forbidden about it? Um, anyway, so then we've got, um, I just don't know anything about <laughs> saying. And then we've got a Terminator Wizard, and he's got the Umbrilific Crystal. Right. And then I've got 10... Um, Scarab Occult Terminators, and they've got an assortment of weapons. So they've got Soul Reaper cannons and missiles and all of that. Mm. Uh, and then I've got two units of three goat people on discs. Goat people, yeah. Yeah, enlightened. Mm. They are very enlightened. enlightened. Yeah. He's angle enlightened. They're very enlightened. And that is 2,000 whole points. Love it. And, um, yeah, so... Back to you, Jordan. Right. What are the Super Chats? We've had a couple of Super Chats. So first is from Peter Harrison. Uh, he said, I love how YouTube turns on closed captions for your channel because of the accents. Hello from Canada. Hope you're well, Stephen. Go World Eaters. Now, I'm not going to lie. It's probably because of me. <laughs> so... Probably is you. Yeah. yeah, most things are down to you, actually. Mm. Yeah. Peter, thank you very much. Hope you're doing well, mate. Legend. World Eaters, come on. Legend. Got this. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. uh, so we've had another one from Grim Dark Ash. Uh, he said to say thanks to Jake and George for the very kind words about my exorcist on Insta. Say. I'll play you guys soon. Need to make it happen. Root in for the T Suns this time. Got hammered by World Eaters recently. Sorry, Steve. The see this. He's had an exorcism re recently, has he? Mm. Anyway, so um, <laughs> so. The, um, so Grimdark Ash has my favourite Space Marine chapter. I've never seen anyone own an army of them. Let me guess. He did say it, but that's oh. fine. Um, it, which is the Exorcist chapter. Oh! Um, and they're really cool, and I was really happy to finally see someone have them. So I gave him a little share, and it was, he was very, very appreciative. And oh. I was very appreciative that you did an Exorcist army just for me, so thank you. Mm. And that's definitely what happens. Yeah. Thank you much, Ash. Mm. Go check it out on um, Instagram because mm. honestly, they are absolutely amazing. They're so cool. They're banging, are they? Their symbol is the librarian symbol. Yes. So, like, it looks cool. I'll show you some. All right. Yeah. I look forward to that. Yeah. yeah. You could have read my story and seen it, but that's okay. But I don't look at your stories, Jake. That's okay. <laughs> Next up. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, James with a B has been a member for three months and he said, Clash of the 40k men, the handsome versus the tall. Come on, hashtag team oh box. My. Thanks for the incredible content, oh, guys. It's irony. I'm the handsome. <laughs> you're tall. You're tall. Oh, no, you're tall. I'm handsome. No, because there's, there's no irony in me being handsome. 
No, cool. Yeah. Thank you, Ash. Steve's actually, um, I'm six foot, so Steve's <laughs> must be <laughs> six three. Pushing six five. Hey, what Tinder don't know, don't hurt them. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, actually, these boxes could be quite good to stand on to give you a bit of extra height. Um, <laughs> would you like me to describe it to you? <laughs> so, <laughs> would you like a box? I've already got one. Mm. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> is is that all the super chats? That's that's all the super chats. Amazing. Yeah. Legends, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. So the mission today, um, well, we thought what we'd do is just do the mission rule based on the English weather. So today is chilly and rainy, mm. <laughs> and this is going to be <laughs> audible. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, do you put that in? Yeah, it's the, like the friends yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, everyone laugh. Yeah, <laughs> hold a sign. Um, so we're going to do mission five. Is it mission five from the London Grand Tournament pack? That's the correct. Final mate. mission, the simplest mission to end a fantastic weekend of being at a super major. <laughs> so we've got take and hold, mm -hmm. where we're going to get four points for five points. Five points for holding one or holding two or holding three or holding three. Yeah, or in this case, more, more. than you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's going to be no mission rules. We said chilling rain. Uh, we can decide if we want to play tactical fixed uh, secondary missions. And we are playing the, is it, sweet? it's not sweeping engagement, is it? Crucible. Crucible, Crucible yeah. we're playing. Yeah. Middle to corner yeah. deployment. Um, and we're both, I'm playing tactical, you're playing tactical? Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Vanguard tactical. Vanguard tactical. Now, have you got 16 cards? I do have 16 cards. Oh, you have didn't fifth. have 16 cards, you cheater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, just casual. Do you want to see them? Uh, Cine duplicates? Any removed? Well, one of them you're hiding behind the other, so maybe. It's fine. <laughs> so, like, Don't you worry about that. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> now, we actually played at the weekend, didn't we? We did. We had a great game. Yeah, I got 69. So did I really lose? <laughs> so, you won. Yeah. And also, me and Jordan played. You had an out of body experience when we played as well. I did. <laughs> so. Yes, uh, let's not talk about Overwatch. Mm. So, anyway, let's play some games. I'm very excited. Me I finally too. get to use Thousand Sons. I get to use Other this beautifully painted powerful. World Eaters army. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. After you, sir. Five. five. Oh, we should probably take these other dice out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which result do you want out of the ones in So it? you rolled a five? Yeah. Do you want first turn? Um, not particularly, but I guess I'll have to take it. Well, I, <laughs> I rolled a four. There we go. So it's going to be Jake's turn one. But I've got some scout moves. Have you got any other pre-game abilities to do before we start? No, but while you're doing your scout moves, I'm going to t we're going to play a game with the audience, and that is counting with Jake. So, can you go on? Is, can you go on my camera? As you can see, I have <laughs> I don't know any of the cabal points, so I've written them all on my arm. So if you keep seeing me looking down at my arm, it's not because I'm just staring into space. So, <laughs> so I've got. Um, <laughs> what haven't you got, Mac? Uh, no, I'm trying to, uh, Magnus Araman, um, a Exalted Sorcerer, so that's nine. Terminator Sorcerer, so that's 11. And I've got Scarab Occult Terminator Team, so rubrics. So that's 14 Cabal points. And that cool. is how we count. Counting with Jake. Yeah, it helps when you have this on it your It does arm, help, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Um, we have had a super chat though uh, from Ben Paints. Oh. Um, so he said, "Any bell ringing tonight, Jake? Don't embarrass Magnus. Just to say, not all painted by me." Um, oh, yeah. Thank you for letting us uh, use your army, mate. Even yeah, if you didn't paint you. it. But <laughs> I said uh, Magnus has luscious locks. What's his range? Um, uh, he moves really quickly and then has like a twenty-four inch range. So he has twenty-four inch range. But like he moves fourteen. I could make it plus two move, and I can double move him. So you can move 20, 30 So I could inches. go 32 inches and then shoot if I want. Probably yeah. won't, but... Probably won't, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll probably eat you. Nom, 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 nom. With my world eaters. Don't, um... <laughs> don't, um... <laughs> test me with a good time. Um, yeah. I'm probably going to play quite safe to turn one. I'm I quite, thought you might. quite nervous. It depends what I get my little cards. Yes. So. And I've got to do my blood types. Okay. I've just got to check if I do that now, or... Is it like mine where you... Command get... phase. Yeah, because mine, I only get them in my command phase. Really? Mm. Mm. You go second, it's a bit poo. Right, let's have a little look. Uh, army rules, blessings of corn, at the start of the battle round, cool. And I'm going to roll eight dice, Jake. Three, six, eight. And I'm going to roll some dice, and I've got an icon on that objective there, so I could re-roll a result. Well, that was a bit 
garbage, isn't it? You got, um, two, got a triple. triple and two doubles. I do like some triples there. Um, so a triple does get me lethal hits. A triple four would give me advance in charge. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reel this two and hope for a four. That's, That's six. a six. That's no good, is it? So I'm going to go for um, any double. Double one will give me a six plus feel no pain. And then another double, which we've got, plus two move, just to get around that table a little bit more. So I've got plus two move and a six plus feel no pain on my army. Okay, mate? Okay, cool. So you six at feel no pain and plus two move. Yeah, so a good game. <laughs> we just made that up, didn't we? Huh? That was we wasn't practiced. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so I get area denial. Oh, that's not good. And um, <laughs> oh no, I could. Mm. Well, maybe I may have to re do some reading. Uh, and then secure no man's land. So either way, got to get <laughs> near the <laughs> get a shift on lad. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. Um, cool. If you go to the top, so yeah, to establish I've got fourteen cabal points. I can do stuff with these. Yes. Um, Magnus's ability. I will go plus two move. Cool. Uh, within six of him. Mm -hmm. So maybe help me get my area denial. And while you're thinking about what you're going to do, we'll have a quick word from our sponsor. I'll we'll see you in a minute. Let's take a moment to appreciate Colorforge, our fantastic sponsor. Their range of spray paints has become our go-to for making our miniatures come to life quickly and efficiently. The quality and variety of colors they offer are truly unmatched, providing a smooth application for stunning effects every time. Check out Colorforge for your next hobby project. Hello, and we are back. Is that better? <laughs> just <laughs> press the top tab. Number four. And then just press that to right on the um, Steam Deck, and I'll be there. Sorry, we, we were just trying to sort out one of the camera angles. <laughs> But yeah, guys, how's everyone doing? Um, Seb is currently just sorting out some cameras and he'll be with us and we can chat some Warhammer. But yeah, guys, let me know what you've been up to this week. You've been painting anything? What armies are you working on? Um, we've all just been to a GT this week or this weekend. Um, I ended up playing everyone from VT. <laughs> it was just great. Um, well, Sebi, you're here. Sebi, yep. Uh, yeah, I heard about that, actually. Uh, you played everyone, didn't you? Yep, so I played Mike, then I played Jake. No, sorry, I played Kobe, then Mike, then Jake, and then Steve. I played the full house, basically. The full house. And, and how did that go for you? Not great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, I, I didn't beat Jake, Steve, or Mike, but I was close. Yeah? In pretty much all the games. Well, in all the games, I was close. Um I was like 10 points off Steve in the end and stuff like that. But it just came down to a couple of silly plays. Yeah, um, and if I'm correct, um, I remember seeing on Instagram you posted something about going 70 points in each match as well, which is... Yeah, so... That's really good to be consistent 70 like was that. the lowest I got, but everything else was in the 80s, 80s and 90s. <laughs> so I was scoring like really good points. I just couldn't stop my opponent from scoring, which is what lost me the games. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so it's, uh, it's tough. But um, yeah, looks like we've got... Got a lot of people in chat tonight. Um, yep. Is everyone excited for the game? Yeah, and who are you backing? We've got a poll at the moment. It's currently in the favour of the World Eaters. I'm back in the Thousand Suns. Oh, is that I, so? I think that Jake's going to um, pull this one out of the bag. I think the thing is with Steve's army is we are missing a couple of things, I think. Well, I think um, World Eaters are probably a little bit of an underdog right now, focusing on um, combat. In yeah. uh, 10th edition? Yeah, Am yeah, I yeah. wrong? Or? No, no, no. Okay. You, you are right. I mean, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, it looks like they're ready at the table. <laughs> uh, great. Just uh, give them a second. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jake, do you want to run us through your turn? What are you doing? So, um, so I've done my movement phase. So I advanced the Zangor in light and they just got onto that objective. Um, they are on the bottom level, but, but we just put them there for ease. The same with my eight bound, okay? Yeah. Um, and then I got a big run on the Zangor and Lightning because of the plus two inches from Magnus. I'm only one inch off of getting area denial. So what I'm going to have to do is Mag um, Araman. So this is now the start of my shooting phase. So Araman is going to use five Cabal points, put me down to nine. Did you not want to put a rubric mean within three of that objective? I've got um, the Terminators. Oh, the Terminators are in the building They're literally there. all in. I see. Yeah. Well, I couldn't see because they're hidden. Oh, that's right. And, my, and I've got my man here, you. I'm there watching, am I? Yeah. Because you're taking Votan, aren't you, to LGT? 
Well, no, I don't know if I'm taking them to LGT. I'm definitely taking them this weekend at the Outpost. Yeah, we're playing at the Outpost in the yeah. GT at the Carnage uh, the, event. The Carnage event, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's going to be fun. Um, Lastminute.com me going, so um, but I'm very, very happy I'm going. Um, so I'm going to try Votan out, and if yeah. I like them, I'm, I'm going to submit them for LGT. I really hope you do like them. Uh, I, it's going to be great to see you back playing Votan. I get so many models. Um, like loads, so to the point where I've had to like borrow stuff which I didn't think I'd ever have to do with Votan. Um, so yeah, no, it's super cool. I'm really looking forward to it. Hmm. And you're taking Black Templars. Of course, yeah. Okay. Got to keep the Fox Crusade. Templars. The Crusade is still strong. Mm. 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 So then, so now I'm going to say start on shoot phase, going to do my Cabal Ritual. So pick a cycle and then pick a unit with an 18. Yeah, mate. Spend five so they can move and I'm literally just going to put one just within... Oh, no, I actually have to hold that objective to get secure No Man's Land. So. You do, yeah. Um, I'll just do this just to move block you a bit. And we're both on one command point at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just do that to move block you a bit. Ooh. If you just say so then if this unit wants to come. Yeah. So I'll just put one just within three. Mm -hmm. And then there we go. Love it. So end of my turn, I'm going to get area denial for five and secure no man's land for five. That is a very cagey turn, my friend. Yeah. Well, I don't want I don't want it to be um, too bloody turn one. We need to roll this out there. <laughs> so yep. if I move all my stuff up and then you just like go rah 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 and kill all my models, I'd be very sad. Right. Um, well, my command phase then. Mm -hmm. I don't have any command phase auras. Yeah, and would you good. like to shuffle my cards? Yeah. Thanks. Any comments from the chat, George? Any yeah. super chats? No super chats, but oh. everyone's just discussing um, <laughs> basically what they've been up to in the week. Um, yes. A lot of pe people are really excited for the Votan that you just mentioned then, Jake. Uh, um, yeah. So Jake's back on the Votan. Whee! Yeah. Whee! 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 Watch me go 5-0 and oh, and then like randomly be like, what happened here, guys? <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think um, they definitely... Um, the balance data slate definitely gave them a lot of love, so I'm hoping that I can have a good showing with them. So. Mm. Yeah, no, yeah. I hope you do really well with it, man. You get so many units now. <laughs> so I've just drew cleanse objectives. Yeah. That's my favourite thing to do with World Eaters, is just sit on an objective Why and you can cleanse. give it a good clean. And then we've also got overwhelming force, yeah. so I've got kill units that are on objectives. Do you, do you know you don't have to hold the objectives to start the cleanse? I know, you only have to hold it at the that. end of the turn. Yeah, I didn't know that until uh, this weekend, actually. So. <laughs> until well, our game, wasn't it? Yeah. You can um, you can actually cleanse an objective that's not there. You can as well. Then yeah, because you just start cleansing and it just says if at the end of the turn you're on an objective, so you can summon one. Didn't know that either. So yeah, it shows um how technicalities work. Did you score? Sorry, yeah, I got time. I got ten points. I got five on secure no man's land and five on um uh, the area denial. Cool. You can uh, mute us now, mm, and awesome. uh, while I do my movement phase. Cool. All right. Yeah. So great. Um. um yeah. <laughs> it's going to be interesting, mate. It's going to be interesting. I mean, very quick turn from Jake there. Yeah, not too much happening. Just moving and setting all the pieces along the board, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think he needs to do too much. He doesn't need to be too aggressive because he knows Steve's going to be doing that anyway. Um, so he doesn't need to overcommit. All he needs to do right now is just get his assets into the best possible positions. Um, and obviously scoring 10 points on your first turn. Can't really complain there, can you, mate? No, that's pretty good, actually, mm. I think. No, it is. When you play in tactical, <laughs> that's the best score you can you can get first turn. Oh, nice, awesome. So, um, so yeah, that's it's definitely definitely encouraging signs for the Thousand Sons. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see what Steve does. So Steve's obviously drawn a couple of um, tough. He's got cleanse, so he's gonna have to go to objectives and basically do actions on the objectives. Um, and yeah, it does. It he could probably do the one in the top corner. But yep, the one in the 100%. bottom corner, it looks like there's some Thousand Suns down there. So he's going to have to get rid of them before he can actually um, cleanse that objective by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, looks like um, looks like a lot of people are um, really excited to see the Votan, actually. Maybe we, we should get them on the channel at some point. Uh, yeah, maybe a stream game soon would be pretty mm, good. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are down for that, let us know. Yeah, I think Votan on the channel will be cool. Be refreshing, actually. We haven't had them on since like the beginning attempt. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, Jake's asking to be unmuted, uh, despite being off camera, so we'll wait a second. <laughs> What's up? Am I unmuted? Yeah. yeah. Steve, can I challenge you to a, to a challenge? Challenge me to a challenge? Yeah. Oh. Can we play next week? Can I play Votan and you play whatever you want? What about Black Templars? What, I'll play our LGT lists? Yeah. If the chat want to see it, I'm down. Yeah. 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 Do the chat want to see it? Do the chat want to see... The most handsome man in Warhammer and arguably the world versus Stephen Box from Vanguard Tactics and <laughs> the most confident and clarified man I've ever known. Mm. Thank you, mate. Uh, 
my confidence and clarity is on point these days. I wish I had some guns in this army. Guns are fun in 40k, I've learned. Guns are fun. Guns, guns are, are fun. fun. Guns are fun. There's so many cards. I just thought it would be better because um, I, I like, like, we like, as a bit of behind the scenes for everybody, um, we prefer having our phones on airplane mode because it um, just means less things can go wrong. Uh, and when you do that, the new app doesn't like it when you when you have your phone on airplane mode anymore. Well, it keeps on asking me to uh, subscribe every time I log in. Oh, I don't know about <laughs> you guys. That's subliminal messaging, sir. So. Oh. <laughs> it's not actually asking you to do that. What it's asking you to is so then you can play 40k with us. That's me, actually, so we can all play 40k together. Let's all play 40k. I want to play 40k. Okay. Was that what you had to say, Jake? Well, more, well, no, more what I wanted is um, to see if the chat wanted to see me versus Steve on next week with our LGT list. I've just and, put, I put a poll up. And if people vote... Right, here's another one, right? If people vote... Can you stand in shot? Oh, sorry. You've got to stand there. <laughs> if people vote and they want to see... Can you speak up a little bit? We can't If really people you. vote and they want oh, to see me use, use the Votan next week on stream... I will take Votan to LG2. There you I go. I like it. So, if, so all the people in the chat, decide. If you want to see the game next week, I promise you, no matter what, even if, I, even if like, I didn't, you know, not a big fan of Votan next weekend, I will take them to LGT because I'll find a list that works. Well, it looks wow. like you're taking Votan to LGT, mate, because um, <laughs> we've had a, we've, the poll is just going up, up and up and up. It's off the chain! We're on 91% yes. Mm. Consistent so, 90%. Yeah. yeah. And Steve, oh, uh, Justin rate. Holman said, World Eaters don't use guns, you silly Billy. Imagine if you said something else. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How very dare you? What you need is your blood type, different blood types on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're, uh, like we're cheating at school. Uh, double one <laughs> plus one is three. <laughs> cool. Double four. <laughs> right, okay. So we've had a super chat though. Um, we haven't. Yeah. How um, dare no, I, I can't pronounce his name. It's R B R T K N X. Robert Knox. Oh! Actually, <laughs> probably. No, could be completely wrong. I'm just guessing. <laughs> so, um, Robert <laughs> Holson. All right, Robert, someone with a Robert brain Knox. Here. Robert Knox. Um, what do you all think about simultaneous turns in normal 40k matches? Basically, taking the kill team format of turns and activations of units to 2,000 point games of the tabletop. Show no mercy, Steve. Basically, that is how 40k is at the moment. They were very bored, to an extent, right? Yeah. Like, I'm, not, like, I'm, not, like, I'm not having a dig. Like, that's um, genuinely... Oh, I can move nine after but, you... But what's in there? You can move nine? Yeah, no, sorry. When you move with nine of me once per game, I can move back D6. All right, then. Yeah. What's in there? Khan and the boys? They're in there. Yeah, they're in, so I'll put them back on. <laughs> oh, <fine. laughs> there um, <it> is. <laughs> are you going to get out? Can you charge? Can I charge? Yeah, because I just I think these guys are going to come and ruin my day. Can I charge? Yeah, I'm going to... Yes, I can charge. I'm going to do the thing. One, oh, no. Wee! <laughs> lads, lads, lads. Um, I am going to do the thing with the... Oh, no, because you'll... No, you'll touch me. Mm. I don't want that. No, cool. I won't do that. You can have the charge into the zangle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... Fair enough. Yeah, give me the enlightened, but not the rubrics. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for your super chat. Um, really, really appreciate that. As always, it's a great way to support us here at the channel. Yeah. I think it would be interesting as an actual answer to the question. Yes. Um, maybe we should try it one day. I think it works better in a game like Kill Team because there's individual models, whereas like the idea of a unit activating in 40k, like depending on what that unit is, could be so strong. Yeah. I actually think a better game is you just play as fast as you can at the same time. Yeah, and you roll their saves for them. And you're like, yeah, you're on two saves. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I think they should just introduce the uh, double turn from Age of Sigma. Well, I think they should Get do. out. Here's, here's <laughs> one, right? Every player in the 40k star back comes with a 100 dice boggle. Mm -hmm. Like, So it's a boggle where you can like feed dice into it and then you can like press the button and it wouldn't feed dice. And then that's just what you do. You just like, okay, so... Uh, boggle it. 20 shots, bang. <laughs> <laughs> 12 hits, bang. <laughs> yeah, but... Four. That's not going to fit down the toilet, mate, when you've been called cheating. How are you going to put it down there? Well, that's the... that's Now, this may come as a shock to people. Go on. How you counter that, you don't cheat. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Madness. Well... I, I will say, that wasn't me who had that idea. It was a chap, a chap called James Hobbs, and he he has this... Hobbsy! Yeah, literally, yeah. You'll meet him at LGT, and he has this idea of the boggle, 
Yeah. And he says like one day he's going to make it. So I, want, I said to him, I was like, LGT, you should make it. Mm. And he's been like, okay, first turn. <laughs> so, or you get a one boggle CP reroll. Ooh, a one so boggle. like you go, oh, no, that's a bad, well, it's important, I've got to boggle that. Mm. <laughs> 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 I've got to boggle that. I like yeah. it. All right, well, I've done my movement phase. Okay. Um, and I've done some cleansing. Yeah. So I've cleansed here with this rhino. Yeah. Because my OC is greater than yours. How much is your OC? Well, it's going to be three. Well, it's funny enough, Zango and Knight have two each, but I have moved an inch away. You so I don't, actually, I don't actually hold the objective anymore. Because yes. I've moved an inch away. You are right. Yeah. Correct. So I'm going to cleanse there then. And then but if I didn't, that would oh. be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to cleanse here as well. So you get five points. Mm. Nice. But um, I'm going to charge you. Okay. I was tempted to get out with the boys and charge you, but then I think I'm just giving you a unit of berserkers mm. just for three and Because I can double move this and then then I'm in trouble. Save and then that's, that's them dead, sadly. Then it's game over. Mm. So um, charge, please. Yeah. Nine. Nine. A strong number. Mine. For a nine. 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 Okay, cool. So cool, 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 cool. So he's going to go to there. Just outside of an inch of this rubric marine. You're going to pile into my rubric marines. I'm going to pile into your rubric marines. That's exactly what I'm going to do. But I have to be in base to base is the only issue. So well, that's... It's all the ones that can make base have to make well, base. I suppose technically I can't actually make base to base. Because they're on the bottom floor. Yeah. So you, you actually can only get three in base to base, I think. And then the rest of them are free. Just to, to do what they want. And the other thing as well so is... So if I move this guy here first round and yeah. I move this guy round to there, mm -hmm. all to get in base to base. This guy now can't. He can go to there. He would have to touch back a smidge, but still make this the model closer. Yeah. And then these guys can just pile into there. Something okay. else that's really important to know as well is you don't actually have to hit who you charged. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Well, this is now what I'm about to do. Mm. So I'm going to pile in, just toe into that guy because he's the closer. Still keep him in the engagement range. Uh, he can, well, he's based. This guy's within an inch, but this guy is also within an inch through the wall there. So we've got five guys into Fantastic these. Restaurant. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and then one guy into here, okay? Yeah. Right, are you ready, Jakey? No. Are you ready? I love five guys. So, we've got... No, that's exalted. Exalt. They're all lovely. That's exalted eight bound. Um, Where's my eight bound? They're on the table, Steve. Mm. Oh, that move I can do once per turn with this angle. That's quite good. Right, cool. so, we've got... Phil, why do you never use this? <laughs> um, I'm going to put the lacerated champion into these guys, okay? Okay. Just um, and then I'll put all the other attacks into I'll there to make it easy. see if there's easy. any strats I could use here. Five attacks. No, what I will do, however, yeah. is... There's no... Actually, there is no strats. Um, just because I've got Cabal points and they're going to leave. Um, yes, Jord. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so um, we've had a couple of super chats. So first one is from Clayton. How dare they interrupt us, Jake? <laughs> TCP I super chat. <laughs> um, he said, just signed up for more one-to-one -one coaching. Guess you're stuck with me, Steve. Oh. Got to pull for corn second choice because they're red and almost as good as Blood Angels. But mm. thousands should be red. No. But they could be. You're Magnus the Red. You're not whole red. Yeah. Clayton, legend, thank you very much. We've got work on his Blood Angels. Yeah. Blood Angels are the best. Because obviously the academy is now closed for an enrolment. Okay, mm. it's closed. Um, however, we just released the, the additional coaching packages for people to buy. And then once they've all done, then we'll open up coaching for the general public as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yes. Sorry, we had one more super chat. Oh, um, from Jono Shock of Impact Marsden. Yeah. Uh, he <laughs> said, sat here in Sheffield, finishing off painting my 3000 point Jakari whilst watching your amazing channel. Interested to watch how Steve's world eat is fair because I'm halfway building that army too. Absolute legend. Well, you're going to be at the outpost at the weekend because you can see me and Jordan. Jake. Jake. <laughs> Sorry, who? <laughs> Sorry, Why does he get offended, Jake? Awkward. Because, like, I've known him for three years. He still doesn't know my name. He doesn't even know my last name. What's my last name? <laughs> Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is he said no? <laughs> what oh. is my last name? It's cool. So, yeah, we'll see at the outpost. We'll be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll be filming Friday, yeah. doing some cool demo games. Are we? Yeah. I don't actually know what we're doing. For okay, so I'll tell you what we're doing. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to be doing some demo games with the Outpost. We're going to be learning, I think, Shatterpoint and some other games. 
I actually really wanted to learn Shatterpoint after we um, spoke on the weekend. How are we going to have a learning play? Can we play with Obi Wan Kenobi? I don't know. We'll have to ask the outpost. Can I be like, hello there? Yeah. <laughs> Every time. He has a rule called hello there. Hello. I, I, I watched the game. It looks really sick. So hello yeah. there. Hello there. Hello there. Um, so, yeah, come along. Uh, come and play some games with us. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay, Jay. Well, yeah. I was trying to do the general. We can go for dinner thing. after, can't we? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be shriveling up. Yes. We've also had another oh. uh, gifted 20 Vanguard Tactics memberships by Clayton Sanford. Woo! Woo! Lads, 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 lads. lads, lads, lads. <laughs> right. And in our outpost trips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our new Shatterpoint game. Do you yeah. know what, actually, as well? What I will say about the Titans train is that for other game systems as well, it is really fantastic. So if you are, like, unsure of it for 40k... Yeah. This terrain actually would work really well for some other games mm. as well. Love it. No, I agree. Yeah. Um, okay, so 8Bound, thank you for all the Super Chats. We're getting rid of, uh, by the way, <laughs> the Lieutenant and Captain tiers on the 1st of October. It's, it's, going. it's going. But the issue is, as soon as we press cancel, anybody that is a Lieutenant at the moment and a Captain, your service is going to be cancelled. There's no way around it. So what we have to do, unfortunately, is ask you to re-sign up to become a member. I, f I feel this should also be done in a, like a separate video. I was sure. going to mention it the other day. Okay, we'll yeah. do another separate video yeah. on it, yeah? Yeah, just like a short, just because then it's, it's more people. Get yeah, to it well. I love it. All right. Um, but before you do that, yeah. I'm going to spend seven Cabal points. So I'm going to spend two so I can re-roll uh, any dice. Right. And I'm going to spend five so I can use a strat for free. Wow. I, I'm going to replenish them at the end of the, at the start of the next go anyway, so I might as well just get my most out of them. Okay, so last ray of time. Okay. Five attacks. And who's this hitting? Uh, these guys. Cool. I didn't have like any minuses to hit anything. So they all hit. Yeah. And then I'm strength 10. I am toughness 4. So that's going to be twos. Mm -hmm. That's all of them. Ooh. That's five at minus two, please, on those rubrics. They got a four up in roll because of the dude. So... And they're flat three damage. So there's only five of them though, right? Only five attacks. Okay, so I'll keep two out. Okay. So four up. So one failed. Great. I'll roll two more, and then I'll re-roll that with my um, free thing. Cool. So two die. Two die. Cool. Cool. So cool. I've I haven't. So I've used the free strat for CP re-roll. Yep. Do you want me to roll out these attacks? No. Okay. <laughs> I just get them. Seven too. attacks a model, so that is uh, quite a few. You yes. can roll them out if you want. No, to. I'm good. I know. Okay. Cool. I know they do slap you in. Value the audience. That's thank good. you. Yeah. Um, on my army tray as well, for some more behind the scenes, I've got some Sagittars, uh, <laughs> Earth Guard. Then I'm going to pile in, move that guy a little bit close. I'm going to put that guy there, put that thing within away. three. That's going to stop him moving, but keep him just within three of that. And then he's going to come round to party. Cool. Got a question for you guys from the Amber King. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, which army are you enjoying the most in temp so far, Skaven? Chaos Demon. Did you say Skaven? <laughs> <laughs> Admech. <laughs> so, so, Ratmech. Yeah. <laughs> Ratmech, yeah. yeah. Um, I am loving the Black Templars at the moment, um, but I also do love the World Eaters, yeah. Um, minor Demons. You, yeah. Mm. But you haven't, let's see what the vote are. I'd love I'm to hear really, your thoughts. I'm really actually. excited, yeah. Yeah. If, if people were, I'm assuming I'm taking base hand to LGT still. Mm. Yeah, it's 85% yes. Oh, cool. So we're definitely doing that game next week. <laughs> Yay. So you get a head start finally. And then, um, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, so I get to hit you back. So we'll do the normal person. Also, our Corn Berserker army, basically, in all the eight bound. I did a, as you know, we've kind of done some painting with them before, but Little People Painter from mm. Instagram has done a massive, massive solid and... She's done an incredible job, just done, doing all the edge highlighting, all the little details, and making the army look beautiful. And I based it this morning on all the skull thrones. It looks fantastic. It does look awesome now. Mm. We have 50 corn berserkers painted. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I know. 50 Ooh. corn berserkers, I can't Ooh, believe nearly it. 60. <laughs> and we've got uh, 12 8 bound, 9 exalted 8 bound, and then um, she's now going to finish off Angron for us as well, which is cool. So. Oh, I did wonder why you didn't have him. Yeah, because I was actually going to take World Eaters to LGT. I know. So that was why I was like, I really need some help getting this army finished in, you know, in a very short period of time. Um, and then obviously I just started with the Black Templars and I was like, oh, I kind of like these two. So They're mega. Yeah. So that's kind of why I've been running them side by side in my head. And I thought I'll take Templars, hmm. you know, so. You're going to dress up. I'm going to dress up in a full night outfit okay. so people don't know who I am. Okay. But now I've told everyone. <laughs> I am a Mr. Boxhead. <laughs> and like, I am running for London Mayor. Should I, should I do LGT like the Stig? So like with just like the white helmet on. Now, 
I don't mean to sound rude here, right? But you have a very Stephen Box shaped <laughs> body, <laughs> so if you turn up and go, why? On the stick, and then <laughs> on the box. <laughs> oh, damn it, not the box, not the box! <laughs> damn it! And then you're going to see sat there in my arms after being like, what? No, everybody, people everybody know who I am. Yeah, damn it. And Shit. I'll be like, shame. <laughs> and, and that ends the adventure. Right, so I'm going to hit you now. So um, I've got the two normal people. So I've got lethal on these, so fours. Uh, so just one automatic wound at A minus. Cool. Uh, that was a waste of time. And then I've got. That was the force weapon. Um, I didn't say it at the start, but I've got Dev on all my psychic weapons. Just assume that's going to happen for the whole game. Sure. Freeze. One hit. One uh, hit. You are on an objective, so I can reroll wounds. I did. I won't worry about this. But we'll do it for this one. What toughness are you? Five or six. Okay, so fours or freeze. That's a wound either way. Minus one. That will go through. Damage. D three. Uh, two. Six. I feel no pain. That hit my cool. my area. That, and then, your area. <laughs> yeah. And then four freeze all hit. Um, this will be freeze re-rolling. So one dev wound, three wounds at minus one. So what? Three at minus one, please. Uh, all two failed. So first one. First one two damage. What is this? The <laughs> <laughs> so, right, um, Next one. Uh, three. What's going on with these dice? Oh, and, <laughs> and then the dev wound free. <laughs> so I think I've just nearly killed three. I'm about to kill three. Sorry, um, what is this going this on? This is the dude. <laughs> this is the oh, third. Right. <laughs> so that's three out eight bound dead total. What on earth has gone on? So I hit you with lots of force weapons. Wait, did three eight bound just die to rubrics? Yeah. Because yeah. the wizards went off. So that's pretty good. Cool. <laughs> About that. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. I'm owed a win. <laughs> so, I'm owed a win, Stephen. After all your shenanigans <laughs> with me playing your psychic, anti psychic, anti monster, anti everything, having an out of body experience. How? Is that just. I don't know, just roll better. <laughs> sure. Okay, cool. Do you know what, so, actually, what you could do is you could book me in for a one to one coaching call, and what we'll do is we'll go through all the reasons of why that just happened. <laughs> so, <laughs> roll better. Cool. Well, no, there's other reasons. <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, it's big feel though with this stick, so let him off. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, overwhelming force, I killed a unit on objective, so that gets me three points. And I got cleanse for five. Uh, five points, please. Yeah. Good job, I'm proud of you. Well, good work over everybody. Good job, everyone. You idiots. You... <laughs> Have you guys spent any CP yet? No. Uh, no. I used, well, the only strat I used, I used for free. Roger that. I got my points to do now. Yep. So, you start your turn. Double six. Oh, I do get to pile in. Um, I'm not going to because I, I want to just fall back from you. That's advance and charge. I'll take a bit of that action and I'll go for a bit of plus two move action as oh. well. So I've got plus two move and advance and charge. So what you're saying, this is the go turn. <laughs> what I'm saying is... is... Oh. So again, if we do counting with Jake, so primary, I've got f uh, five primary. Hmm. And then um, four, seven, <laughs> eight, Nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. I'm not sure what was more painful, watching you count or losing three eight bound. <laughs> Take a photo, it'll last longer. So. Right, um, that's that. So yeah, if we go to the top down and stuff, I can... So oh, you... I actually have to do my cards. Sorry. Yeah, you should draw your cards, mate. Uh, defend Stronghold, sick. And <laughs> uh, Overwhelming Force, sick. Awesome. So hmm. be rewarded for doing the things you want to do anyway. Love it. Right, cool. quick word from our sponsor, we'll be back. So before we continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Outpost. If you're looking for a great deals on your miniatures, paints and gaming supplies, we've got you covered. Their wide variety of exceptional service makes them the go-to destination for all hobby needs. So don't wait, check out The Outpost today. Link in the description below. And we're back. We are back, um, yes. We've had some super chats. Yeah, um, yes, we have, yeah. Jord is currently just um, matching up the scores and then we'll update um, the the stream. Uh, yeah, I've got a question actually about the uh, blood type because I'm a bit um, out of the loop on this. Hit me up. So last 
that round, he rolled for that and got a uh, feel no pain. And this time now, uh, Steve's going to be advancing and charging. Is that correct? That's right, yeah. Yeah, so does that last until the end of the battle round or is that until the end of the game? How long does that no, last? No, until the end of the start. Sorry, until the start of your next command phase. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, okay. the start of the next battle round. Yeah. So you do it at the start of every battle round. Mm -hmm. You get those abilities for that battle round. Right. And then you basically roll at the start of every single one. Yeah, so you okay. roll it five times, basically. Got it. Got the Zolg's not tabled in between that. <laughs> what are you trying uh, to say? <laughs> I mean, we saw those uh, force weapons at work. But, um, yeah, that was brutal. Yeah, that, that had a bit of a punch to it. So um, has Steve still got... Uh, what's he still got up in that corner now? So left in the building, it looks like he's got 3-8 three, three bound left. 3-8 bound left? Yeah, 3-8 bound left in that, in that corner still. But right. it, I don't think they're going to be there for long, mate. Um, that's my predictions. But we shall see. I'm just updating all the... The scores and everything for everyone now. So do Thousand Suns do better in shooting or combat? Are they like a bit of both? What's their kind of play style? I'm a bit... Um... They're more of a shooting army. Right, okay. But they do excel in combat as well. Like they, they have a good balance of both, right? But because they have all their psychic weapons, it's mainly going to be combat where you're going to see their threat come from. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's, it, it def it's one of those things that you can build into either or, right? But they're... Battle line troops of rubric marines, so they've all got guns. Their terminators can hit in combat, but their best weapons will be their guns and their obviously psychic stuff. Um, so yeah, but just a quick thing: we have had um, twenty gifted Vanguard Tactics memberships from John McArdle. Yep. Um, so thank you so much for that, and everyone who has just been given a membership, don't forget to re um, resubscribe or re return on your your membership at the end of the month um, once. Um, that ends up because otherwise you'll miss out on all the great content that we've been providing um thus far and obviously we've got our members lives every friday so yeah yeah and remember when you resub um well actually no forget what i was about to say i was talk about to talk about vt members for a second how the other ranks are going oh yeah but don't worry we'll, we'll oh, be we have another super chat don't we yeah um so nashi said give that great bushy beard a scratch jake go thousand sons scratch your beard he's saying i don't have a bushy beard oh, i'll meet him real quick Ed. Mm. Is it Shut up, Steve. <laughs> I was saying, I thought you were going to say it's not. I was going to say, well, you're a handsome beard. Thank you. You're, and you, my, and you're you, my beard. And you just <laughs> shot me down like that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That's like when I told you I loved you and you said, cool. Cool story. You only say that when Amy's around, though, so it's okay. Don't I worry. do. Don't worry, I won't get jealous. Um, <laughs> right. Um, I've actually done my movement. Oh, okay, cool. Perfect so time. I'll just talk through what I did. So Magnus has moved to here, and he's ensured he's within six inches of Araman, and I'm going to do some really, really cool things and I want everybody to see. Oh, that's nice. Rubrics with the Sorcerer have just moved back because that is also part of the plan I just made up. And then the <laughs> Scarab Occult are just staying here. They're not going to crystal yet. Okay. I did some measuring to see if I could get in here. Then I remembered that if I do that, I'm cheating because I can't use Steven's deployment zone. So mm -hmm. you don't want to do that accidentally. Um, and then I've just moved the Enlightened like this. Um, the goal is to kill the Rhino for overwhelming force. But let's be honest here, people. Um, all the Golden Berserkers are going to get out no matter what I do, so I might as well just get them out in my turn. Save, so there's an Steven get extra three inches there. Oh, actually you do, because you're getting out. Either way, um, but I've blocked this, so then you have to go round. All right. That's that. Uh, so start the start of shooting phase. But wait, sir. I'm going to ingress to the Rapid oh. for a CP. Oh, suit you, sir. Suit you. That's what I care. <laughs> so. Oh no, we may have to change plans. Magnus may have to shoot in directly somewhere. Oh no, I've given away the plan. Can it, what's his range? 24. He can't shoot you indirectly if another wizard can't see you. So that's oh, why I've done that there. So I could go here. Yeah. Over nine away. We're in cheating range. Mm hmm. So they're not wizards, are they? They're not, they're goats. They're goat people. They're goat people. Go, and I'm, and I'm outside of 24 there, which is also quite nice. Uh, oh no, I don't know what I don't need my plane now. I've got this. Um, um, these cool but things. I think what I'm going to do is see what this looks like over here. Ooh, he's going to the other side. Oh look, they're on the same side. I'm on the edge. Oh, we've got 888 views currently. Are we actually? Yeah. Oh my god, that's we have awesome. 888 views, not yeah. concurrent. Oh. No, 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 but it, it says 888 for the views. So I just As an thought... overall total. Oh, it's 893. Oh, bro. YouTube had to ruin it. What do you think? Yeah. Do you think that's a better move or that one? Or do you well, think? I'm going to get to do something really cool. So, Are um... you going to double move these guys? Yeah. And then flame me? 
Well, maybe not Yi, because remember, I still have to kill the Rhino. Oh, you've got to kill the Rhino. Mm. You could, could you double? Can you charge after you move no. twice? Right. Okay. You have to kill the I've Rhino. I've got a lot of tricks up my sleeve here, Steve. You got tricks. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've got skills. What are you going to do about it? Not really sure, but this isn't bad. No, I don't think it is bad. Because you're moving what six? Uh, eight. Eight. Because I go six with my, um, plus six plus two with Magnus. Right. Okay. Hmm. But you could split fire, couldn't you? Yeah, I don't know how much it takes to kill the Rhino because I'm going to get reroll wounds and you're not going to get a save. So how many wounds is a Rhino? Ten. Yeah. So I have to. So basically, if I roll ten sixes, that kills you. Yeah. So I now need to then determine how many flamers is Quite a ten lot. sixes worth, which 60. is a lot. Uh, well, no, but with rerolls as well. Right. Yeah. So maybe Araman thought... could maybe just like shoot one of them off, but Oof. I don't think he will. Spicy. We'll have to see. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to rapid ingress. Yeah. I think that's a good move there. Yeah, probably better than that one over there. But that, if I can get that one, that keeps me that objective. Yeah, that's true. Because I couldn't move round to get to the objective, so that's mm. why I was a bit stuck. Yeah, I feel like over there is better. Cool. Because I feel like you're going to waste this unit based on what I've just seen. I'm going to kill... Magnus should kill them. Yeah, really. so I'm going to put this guy within three. Yeah. And then I'm outside of Magnus range anyway of 24. Yeah, he, um, if, if my unit can't see you, I can't even indirect. And then I'm obviously nine units away from there, okay? Cool, cool. Nice. there we go. Right, so start my shooting phase. Love it. I'm gonna spend five Cabal points to double move. That will leave me with nine. Okay. And that's really, really, really important that I'm left on nine. Okay. Because of something I want to do in your turn, which we discussed. Siege's <laughs> number, isn't it? Nine? Uh, it is, um, but it also allows me to do something that may give Steve an out-of-body experience. You've been, uh, Seb, you've been playing a little bit of Total War recently, haven't you? You've been, in, you've been playing as the Zinch Demons on there. <laughs> yeah, you, as the Changeling. You've moved from the Skaven and you've gone for a bit of Zinch. You, te you tempted to buy a Zinch Demon army for 40k? You use mine, Seb. I've got uh, loads of Zinch Demons. I'll think about it. Think, okay. I'll think about it. Um, I mean, that's the closest we've got for a committal for uh, Seb to play an army. Mandy's actually asked me to use Necrons um, a couple times now. <laughs> no, not asked. That's, that's that what she's decided. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah, yeah. told you. <laughs> Literally made a list for me to use, like uh, the last members' lounge we so, um, had. So she's made you a list. Yeah, and she checked it twice, more than twice. <laughs> well, you better get on that, Seb. All right. Um, so again, at the start of shooting phase, I'm going to spend two command points for warp sight. Okay. So I pick one of my psychers. So I'm going to pick the psyker over there. This guy. And now any model in my army that basically I can draw a line of sight from the psyker. Mm. I, have no, I get indirect, but I have a Norse cover. Okay. Uh, I think I do. You still suffer the minus one to hit though. What's that one called, but mate? Is it warp sight? Warp sight. Warp sight. I could be wrong. Yeah, warp sight two CP gets indirect and ignores cover. Um, and you're spending two CP on that. Yeah, I'm yeah. not going to make it free because I need the nine for something really cool. Um, and then what I'll do yep. is, also in my shooting phase at the start of the phase, I'm going to use Araman's free Cabal Ritual to do strip your armor save off on the Rhino. Okay, cool. And again, there's a really important reason why I'm doing all of this in this way. It's really important stuff, guys. Because yeah. either, either way, it's going to be sick. Um, right, so I'm going to start with Maggie Poo, and he's going to shoot the World Eaters. Maggie Eaters. Poo. Yeah. The eight bounds. <laughs> Whatever they are. Yeah. Um, so Maggie Poo gets... Um, so he gives himself plus one to hit, so that will just counteract the indirect. Yeah. So I'll start with 3D, we'll start with cool shots. So 3D3, three three, uh, they're the same wounds, so that's two, one, exactly how many dice I've got here? Two used to hit. Oh no. And then it's strength nine with plus one to wound. Cool. So two, two used. Yeah. And six is dev wounds. Uh, so that's three uh, dev wounds and three at minus uh, two. And this is flat damage three? Yeah. Wow, this is good. So uh, do I get cover? No. No cover? No, because the strat says um, I get a Norse cover. Ooh. Mm. Cover wouldn't help you there anyway. Right, so they're dead. <laughs> well, no, you get them if you want to paint. No, I didn't go for it. I went for advanced charge. Oh, sorry, moves. I thought they had that in build. No. Oh, cool, they're dead then. No, 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 no. Um, no, nice, no, that's no, overwhelming no, no. force for two. So I'm going to spend a CP now and do a bit of blood off blood offering. Okay. And I'm going to sticky this objective. Oh, cool, cool. So yeah. like now that unit can just do whatever they want. Nice. And then the rubrics will shoot all of their stuff at the Rhino, including Aram and everything will shoot the Rhino. Cool. Um, so this is 8d6. Uh, so, oh dear, 20, Jake. 30. 
That was very quick math. Yeah. That's fine. Like, still the best moment I've ever had on stream, I think, is when we were doing the weekend stream and I just randomly managed to count to 47 really quickly. These, and Chris was like, whoa. These are all fives for you, okay? That's a six. <laughs> we don't want any extra dice. Are you sure you don't want some extra dice? No. Okay, then. Look, hold out your hands. Oh, no. <laughs> you may have to help me. I will. Uh, Say so sixes with re-rolls, ten sixes, you're dead. Well, I mean, that's quite a good start, that, Jake, actually. Okay, so we've got... Seven sixes. Right, and you get to re-roll all of these? Yeah, because you're on an objective and I'm a rubric unit. Right. Cool, I'm Yeah, good. 11. I've given you change. Brilliant. Wow. Thank, you. Thank you, mate. Oh. Darshi so, blow. My rhino is gone. And my day is ruined. Right. <laughs> I'll empty the dice tray for you, Jake. Hmm? I'll clean up after you. Oh, thank you. Am I dead? No, I don't blow up. That's right. And then the 10 guys inside, two, 11 guys inside. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Ones, I'm taking mortals. Yeah, I like that change. That's another change I like. I'm right. taking a mortal wound. Nice. You don't get to like run at me after that, do you? No, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm battle shocked now. Okay, cool. Because I've oh, just... so, you, so you, you don't get to use the ability if you're battle shocked? No. No, no, no. Oh, no. so I can shoot them now? You can shoot this unit, yeah. Okay, cool, because I've still got the Zangor. Yeah, but they've got precision, yeah? Yes. So I'm just going to hide calm. Yeah, they randomly have... Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I, I ran they randomly have precision shooting, which is really sick. I never thought they would have that. Cool. I don't want you short shooting my calm. There's also, like, player. strength 5 minus 1, 2 damage. You know, Thousand Suns is actually a really cool. I really like some chant. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Classic Sevy. <survey. laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Wise guy, eh? <laughs> I'm going to put four models on the objective. Yeah. Okay. Two within two. two within two, within two, within two. Because that gives me now the a total is of... gone. <laughs> yeah. You have the objective, Steve. I'm okay with it. And I also so have the you, higher ground. So you definitely... Oh, then we can play Shatterpoint. Yeah. Um, so you definitely can't blood surge at me. Pretty sure. I could, think you, I... could you check? Because I don't want it to... You don't, don't, don't want to... I don't want to do you out of it either. Yes, have a check. I don't think I can. Okay. Yes, Jake, uh, Jordan. The zero CP cabal um, thing, yeah. d is it affected by the balance data slate? Yeah. Terms, so, so you can only use it on battle yeah. tactics? Yeah, so that's why I used it on CP reroll, because okay. it's battle tactic. Cool. Right. Um, for reference for the rest of the game, uh, the other strats I can use it on is reroll hits and wounds with psychic weapons, and that's it. Um, the best strat. That is correct. I can't do it because I'm battle shocked. That's really silly. Oh yeah. well. I'm going to shoot you with some goat people. Mm hmm. So, fours with lethal, uh, two, uh, just two wounds minus one. One dead. Cool. Cool. That's that. So, end of my turn, I've started to fend stronghold and I get five on overwhelming force. Very nice. Cool. Oh. That was a very good turn, mate. Thank you. Right, um, both getting a CP? Yep, yeah, I'll go up to two. I'll go up to two as well. Um, the two cards I'm going to draw. Yeah. Isn't this a nice game? Just a nice chilled out game. Hmm. You know, you're like, just saying that so I don't secure, make you have an out-of-body experience. <laughs> secure, <laughs> secure no man's land, which, which means you've already got. Woohoo! And then engage all fronts, which you've pretty much already got. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, cool. And I've already got this objective. I will score 15 points on primary this you will. turn. I, there's nothing I can do with primary here, sadly. There's nothing you can do. I'm, ba I'm, I'm basically bagging on tabling Steve really quickly and then hopefully hoping he hasn't got too much on primary. <laughs> Do you want to overwatch here? Uh, no. Cool. Oh, you can go to the top down if you want. Oh yeah, mute us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, nice. Just updating the points for everyone. So, Looks like... And the bells have started. I've got nine. Oh, I was getting be... a little um, unsettled for a second there. Well, because the, the, bells, the bells were starting? Because they weren't starting. Oh, they weren't. <laughs> Yeah, sad They're a bit times. late, actually, aren't they? They are. They are. What's going on? Um, okay, I think that should be all updated now. Yeah, you're good. So for it. That should be the right scores. Um, it's end of turn battle round two. Nice. There we go. Yeah, sick. Um, awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Sick. They just absolutely shredded that rhino in the middle. That's Thousand Suns for you. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just click and things disappear. Um, yeah, very powerful army. Um, <laughs> We've got an 80% on Jake playing Votan next Wednesday. It's guaranteed That now. is just... It's you guaranteed. might as well just end that now, to yeah. be honest. All right, uh, I'll end is, it now. That is over and settled. Yeah. Um, Looks like that's happening. So next week will be Votan versus Black Templars. Yeah, awesome. Um, so yeah, we'll get that all sorted in the, in the book. Who's that um, little fella? Who's that little guy? <laughs> um, but yeah. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> <That's> it's Jake. <laughs> They're both going to be playing it's these awesome. armies at LGT as well. So, um, so Jake will be taking Votan now because he's that's what he said at the start of the stream. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see um, the progression from next game onto LGT and then like a review. What changes, you know? Um, so, well, I'm actually looking forward actually, to Actually, dude, we have a members series we're doing for that at the minute. Oh, no way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> so, basically, for our members' content, we've got a little Road to LGT series going on. Uh, so, it's following mine, uh, Steve's, and Jake's journeys um, over the past few weeks up to LGT. Um, so yeah, we've basically been going through like how our army lists have changed, what we're not sure we're on, practice games, um, basically just discussing everything around the, um, the actual lists and how we're feeling for it, our hopes hmm. for LGT. And then we also discussed our previous tournament this weekend at Partisan Games. Uh, yep. so that was really, really cool just to look back at. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing another one. It'll be, they come out every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Who's um, changed their lists the most so far? Well, Jake has still hasn't settled on a list um, <laughs> in his series without giving away too much spoilers. But yeah, he, I has, think, he settled on Votan. What do you mean? Well, yeah, but that's not in a video. <laughs> <laughs> um, Steve's list has probably changed the most. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Steve's Steve's been going back and forth on a few things, but but yeah. So it's um it's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, if you are interested, then become a VT member. So if you are wanting to become a member of the channel, make sure it is a VT member. Um, not the lieutenant nor captain levels because they will be going as of the 1st of October. Um, yeah, um, awesome. Also, real quick, can we go over Devastating Wounds real quick? Uh, just because I know we had it come up earlier on screen, but we haven't updated the graphic. Just for yes. anyone who's new, like me, um, yeah. how does it work now? So Devastating Wounds was one of the rules that actually got changed during the balance data slate. Right. So how it works now is previously it did mortal wounds equal to the damage of the attack. Okay. Now they are not classed as mortal wounds. So they don't spill over. They don't spill over. That's okay. the important thing here, right? So what they do is they ignore armor saves and invulnerable saves. You still get feel no pain because that's not a save. That's a like a damage mitigation. That yeah. goes that comes after the saves have been made. It's like um, the um Black Knight from the uh Holy Grail, the Monty Python um skit. I've never watched Monty uh, Python. Okay. No Sorry, mind. Seb. Sorry to let you down, bro. Um Black Knight. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so basically that's how um, Devastating Wounds has changed. It's just, it's basically, as you said, there's no overspilling. So that's been a massive, massive change from the balance data slate. But actually a question to chat is how has how have you found the changes from the balance data slate now that we've had a bit of a time for it to settle? Yeah, um, that's a really good are you guys actually happy with the changes? Is there anything um, that you're unsure of? Just or, let us know in the comments. I mean, what changes are you making to your to your lists? Right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm curious to hear about that. All of our lists have changed. Um, had some gifted memberships. Yes, legend. The one and only. George, you want to read that out? Yeah, James, Tattoo Tabletop, uh, gifted 10 Vanguard Tactics memberships. Absolute legend. Um, so everyone who has just been gifted a membership, make sure to um, say thank you. Um, but yeah, no, thank you to everyone for showing support in uh, today's chat. Um, Steve is currently thinking about what he's going to do. So, mm. so basically, the two secondaries he's got, he's he's pretty much guaranteed it, right? Um, because he's got secure no man's land, so he's going to have to hold. I believe it's two two objectives in no man's land. If he controls one, he gets two points. If he controls two, he gets five points. Um, okay. So basically, he's just got to make an attack onto those um, no man's land objectives, and then he's got engage in all fronts. So if he has units in three quarters of the board then he will get three points. And if he's got units in all four quarters of the board, he'll get five points. Oh, wow. Cash money. Big money. Yeah. But Making it's important to know you you have to be three inches away from um, the unit has to classify as being in that quarter. It has to be three inches away from the edges of that um, that border. Yeah. Um, so then my, my question after that, do you think that will pull his forces away from um, potentially putting in their, their strength into the fight? Mm. Or... Um, how do you think that will change the rest of the game from here? Because obviously that's a part of tactical is your kind of game plan gets changed around, right? As you yeah. draw the cards and go on. So how do you think that will turn out? It's weird, right? So ta you, you normally, you want to be building into your, your mission play in your lists. So you if you're building a specific way, maybe you, if you're going for more of a balanced list, tactical is definitely the way to go forward because you are, will have the assets to deal with most things that come from that deck. 
as you get more experienced, you'll start to know which cards are left in the deck as the game goes on. So you can kind of anticipate, right, I still have Assassinate left um, mm. to draw or things like that. Do you know what I mean? But in that case, your opponent could also see and predict what cards you have left. Exactly, exactly. So that that is the thing with... Um, however, if you look at it from the fixed perspective where you have two secondaries, your opponent knows all game what exactly yeah, they're trying to do. Exactly so it's, it's, it's much more predictable in that respect, right? Yeah. But... Um, but yeah, it's 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 definitely like you score more from tactical because you get more points. You're rewarded for doing the tactical deck. But if you do want to do fix, like I did fix on the weekend and I'm scoring pretty highly on it with teleport homers and behind enemy lines, almost maxing it in most games. Um, so you can build into it and be very successful with it. Um, but you just have to make sure that you've got the right tools for the tool, uh, for the for the job. Um, but yeah, if, we've had quite a few comments actually from... Um, from the question so um where probably said overall happy with the changes as a thousand suns player yeah i think thousand suns obviously they've been affected by a few things devastating wounds mainly mm. um but overall i still think the thousand suns are in a good position i'm sure jake's going to show you um the results of that um but yeah uh who else have we've so we've had uh nashi said i love the changes i think um Eldari needed more changes, but overall great for the yeah. for the meta. Yeah, if I'm honest, I think Eldar got off a bit lightly, but obviously, that's that's something that it it can be affected in in, in a future date slate, right? Yeah, um, yeah we'll, we'll have to see. Exactly, um, but yeah, I I do agree, and I think everyone on the whole probably would agree with that. But mm. oh, it looks like Steve's oh. actually ready at the table, so nice. Okay, so. Um, me and Jake are having a currently a. I'm uh, being very sporting. As am I. <laughs> yes. So. We're, we're, we're both being overly sporting here. So Jake has an ability to, Eight at the start of the phase, yeah. to strip a save off a unit. Okay. And he, what he has to do is you have to spend the points. I have to do it at the start of the phase. So you, so you know what unit is. I can't, it's not reactionary. I don't just see the unit and go, I'll do it. Yeah. So at the start of the phase, Jake has to decide if he's going to remove the saves off a just unit. Just armor saves. Just armor saves, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, obviously, that can combine really well with Overwatch. Yeah. However, what I did was just engage you in multiple places. Yeah, but you, you, like, you're, you've, you've basically played around it by going, if, if I, what will happen is if in the charge phase I decide to strip a save, you yeah. will just charge with the unit that's not stripped the save, make the charge, and I can't Overwatch the unit I've stripped the save off, that's making it easy. Yeah, so that's how you play around it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I went round here to get an easy charge there. Yeah. And also have a charge here with the five. Whereas, because I'll declare this one first. You see. Yeah. Because whereas tactically, what I could do is I could go. I could have at the start of the movement phase if I thought about that. Gone. Yeah. I'll strip the save off the unit here. Then and you can't should have. move. Yes. Yeah. It, you pin that unit. Yeah. So what I'm happy for you to do is strip this unit no. save because that would have been the right thing to do. No, no, no. Because no, yeah. Because I don't think it's fair. Because then you can't pin. Because no, I. Because no, the whole point is that like I. I However, I don't. So I was here, right? Uh, your unit's there, because yeah. I thought that's what you might do. Yeah. And then all I would do is not move, yeah. charge you here anyway, yeah. and then charge in after that unit's yeah. engagement range. So I think you can still play around the stripping of an armor save yeah, unit. Because yeah. the whole point is that unit, but basically if I strip the save, that unit doesn't move. Yes. That's all it comes down to, really. But you've got to think, right? So this unit was behind here. Mm -hmm. This unit was move blocked by this yeah. unit. And you could say, hey, no save on this unit. Yeah. But I, this unit, obviously, I've got the advance and charge to get me the distance. Yeah. But more the point is you couldn't move. Because the moment that unit moves, yes, it well, dies. So I was just trying to yeah. come up with some different ideas. Yeah. If you'd have thought, okay, this unit's oh, right, completely yeah, move yeah. blocked. Maybe that's the threat. And you go, hey, you're staying back there. I'm going to remove their save. And you yeah. just do it as a threat prevention. Yeah. But I'm happy for you to do whatever you want. I don't want to strip the save because that's not fair. Okay. But I will overwatch this unit. Just overwatch that unit yeah. naturally, yeah? Because, because you're going to play around Overwatch no matter what I do. So yeah. I might as well just give it a go, eh? Yeah. But I'm not going to strip the save because that's not fair. Okay. Yeah, because okay. you wouldn't have known yeah. that... Are you going to be on the objective? If you're uh, on the objective... I can I'm not on the objective at the moment. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm going to charge into you in a moment and yeah, take the objective. Fine. So one CP for Overwatch. Yeah. So I'll get eight D6 flamers. Now, what I forgot last time is Aaron does give his unit plus one to wound. Nice. So this is going to be three swings. So and also I've got three eight bound, exalted eight bound. They've just deep striked in within nine inches of cool. uh, Magnus, this unit, and also Aaron's unit. Cool. 25. 
So this will be wounding on three through rolling ones. Nice. So that's 23 at minus one. Pretty good. <laughs> so, that's a... I think it's minus one. Hold it. <laughs> A bead of sweat runs down. It's minus seat. one. And it's all it gnaws cover. I love Overwatch. I love Overwatch. <laughs> I love Overwatch. <laughs> Fours. Oh dear. This is gonna hurt. One. Two. Counting with stick. Three. Four. Oh boy, what comes next? Five. <laughs> six. I've seen this one. And a half dead. Cool. And then I've still got more shot. Great. And so six and a half dead. Yeah. Uh, Warp Flame Pistol gets three shots, so this is strength three, so four to the plus one. Three more minus. I don't think this is. This is surely shouldn't be minus. Anything. Surely. Imagine it is minus one. <laughs> uh, so now the seven's dead. So seven's dead. And Great. then Soul Reaper Cannon actually has to roll a hit. No fun. Is it sustained? Um, <laughs> no, I think it's just. Dev wounds. It's just dev wounds. Cool. Yeah. So one hit then. So twos, one wound, minus um, one. So fails, so... How much damage? One. So one's on a wound. And then Harriman with his bolt pistol misses, and then he has his, like, Super Saiyan gun that has precision. So if he hits... <laughs> he hit. <laughs> You're joking me. Yeah. Um, so I've lost eight. Yeah. And then I'm going to put this on... Well, I can roll the wound and then decide who it goes on. Is this precision? Yeah. Go on, then. So it wounds. Yeah. I'll put it on the exalted dude. I'll put it on the character, why not? I never get to use precision. Okay. It's minus one. <laughs> Four up in one. It's D6 damage. You joking me? No. <laughs> I you love want, Overwatch. It's you want to re-roll it? Overwatch is such a fun mechanic. Do you understand game? why I said about <laughs> this is this is good Do fun. You want this. me to roll it? Roll the dice. One. <gasps> Do I see it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you, I have? What, what do I need CP for this turn? Well, nothing. You could kill my character on a four. No. Two. Okay. I'll give you a two. Thanks, mate. Okay. So um, <laughs> before we forget, uh, ease on two, please. So imagine. So can we just point into perspective? Yes. How massive stripping the save was there. Like if I didn't strip, if I did strip the save, you didn't need to. The unit would die. Oh yeah, hundred. Like a hundred percent die. Yeah, so that's as well. what I had to go on the triple yeah. threat. So this is just showing you why, why I, why I was advocating for no, I don't want to do it. So, well, so you you could have done it on that unit, but then I would have. I could not because I couldn't see them. Uh, okay, but the, my point is, you could have pinned it on this unit. The whole point. Of I would it have just would played be, around it. The right? whole point of basically what would have happened here is I strip the save of this unit, so they can't move. This unit then moves, and I just save watch them. Yeah. And all that happens is that this unit stays there and I'm nine cabal points down. Yeah. Exactly. But bear in mind, I can strip the save at any point, uh, sorry, at any phase. Mm -hmm. So the idea is you can strip it in the charge phase, top of unit charging. Yep. The other thing you can do is I could actually strip it in the combat phase. My rubrics actually hit you quite hard. Yeah, pretty good. Mm. That's pretty good, that, yeah. yeah. Well, that's ludicrous. Huh? That is ludicrous. Mm. Yeah, you've just killed... Um... Eight models in your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Corn wants it. <laughs> Corn does not want that. <laughs> he wants more skulls to be taken first. Oh, I'm doing it! Like, right. What more does he want from me? <laughs> Burnt the skulls away! <laughs> I'm trying to show people I can play. Charge face. So they don't say mean things about me on the internet. They don't, do they? They say that. No, they don't. They say I don't win with games of Warhammer. That's okay. You can win I even said I wasn't really, really, really good looking. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, charge face. Away myself fake, right? Wrong. Exalted 8 bound. I'm not charge rolling that because I'm in. Yeah. Fake cry change. I'm over one. Okay. Steve has an out-of-body experience again. 8 bound into there. Yeah, there you go. You're mate. They're in. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve, just a quick thing, mate. Yep. So, um... Kerid Win Wenner has said, so good to see Stephen. Worked with him in um, in Bath years ago, and now he is one of my favourite content creators for 40k. Josh here from the Guild. Oh, awesome. Great to meet you, Josh. Yeah. You know, you've met Josh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, we meet you. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, virtually. Great to meet you. <laughs> Great to meet you, Josh. <laughs> we've, I've just said we've known each other for years. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, these eight bound. I'm still slightly tilted from the Overwatch, I think. Yeah. These guys into these. <laughs> it's really funny watching you flapping because you're like, ah, ah, my master executioner. He's nearly dead. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. He's my boy. 
And my boy, Blue. Right, um, this unit here. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm pretty comfortable those guys will eat those. Mm -hmm. Not so sure about this, though. Um, this eight-bound unit will charge on Araman. Khan, uh, Corn Berserker unit. Yeah, Khan wants it. Ten. Oh, that gives me choices. That gives me some real good choices. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Right. Do 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 do. They're coming in. Right. Come on, betrayer. Come on. Now something really funny I could do, I could have done, is um I could use a strap for free and heroic with Magnus. <laughs> oh no, you can't. It's not. It's not a uh, battle tactic. Oh, Wayne. Oh. oh. Um, my exalted eight bound are gonna charge Magnus though. So. Yeah, go for it. I don't Come on, boys. Damage up. Uh, That's an eight. Do you have plus one charge? No, not unless you've got. Unless of <laughs> what do I need? Unless you've got Angron <laughs> to give you some pluses. Do you want to re-roll it? CP. Boggle roll. You got two CP, right? Don't boggle roll it. <laughs> I do have two CPs. Um, I have faith in you. You reckon, alright then? I'm yeah. You don't need that for anything else. Okay. Come on, corn. I can't interrupt, so... For Angron. Do it for Sanguinius. Do it for the Vine. For Angron, come on. <laughs> no. See, <laughs> you said Angron. Now, roll it again, but with Sanguinius in your heart. Sanguinius. Oh. See? Damn it! Oh. See? <laughs> Damn it! I'll, I'll take your first answer. <laughs> okay, um, I'll start I'll here with... I'll take a photo of, like, the mad... The carnage. ...that's happening in there. <laughs> okay, so over here, first of all, the Exalted 8 Bound. Let's see what they've got. Ooh. Come Fish. on, boys. My phone went mad. Oh. Abilities. No. So, before yes. you do that, sorry, I do have to decide if I want to strip your save or do any other of my cool things. How many CPs you got? I don't have any. I've got Cabal points. Excellent. Um, so, uh, I can't interrupt, so I don't actually see the point in stripping a save. Okay, then. So, yeah, I won't do anything. Right, wanna go with... Well, actually, uh, I've, yeah, got, yeah. I've just got CP, like, these go anyway, so I might as well. For banter, I'll strip Khan's unit save. For banter? Actually, no, I'll strip, <laughs> no, I'll strip, I'll strip the, um, Exalted 8-bound save on, over there. For banter? Yeah. Okay, cool, whatever. So, Exalted 8-bound... I'm gonna lose them anyway, so there's no point. You may continue. Right. Eviscerator time. Right. I'll go with, because they've got two different weapons, so I'll go for the eviscerators. See this into? Into these. Oh my. Miss on twos. No, I hit on twos. Ooh. The exalted, a little bit more special. Well, they should be, they're exalted. Exactly. <laughs> now, these are strength seven. I'm toughness four. That's not good, is it? Uh, that's only six. Uh, Only the... me. Six minus two. So four up either way. Mm -hmm. So people, uh, two left, one left, dead. So I've just got the wizard character, man. Cool. Then I got my character. Your character. Not my character, my sergeant. And he's got a paired eight bound chain fist. Cool. This is six attacks. Hit on threes. Oh, you little loser. Three hits. <laughs> Stop talking to me. <laughs> and then we've got the strength 15. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's, it, what's their special rule? <laughs> they have to have something like reroll wounds. Luckily, really it's twin linked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you loser. Rolls a triple one. <laughs> you're a loser. You're such a loser. Oh, no, he's not a loser. <laughs> um, what's the minus? What's the damage? Minus right? three, flat two damage. So... I love Warhammer. I don't. <laughs> I hate it. Um, well, well. I, I need to pass um, to it, uh, one of these. Okay. Oh, good. Right. What? These on one. You sure it's two damage? Yes. It's uh, terrible. It sounds quite low. Yeah, I know. Anyway, well, I'll get my cool Sagittars now to play. <laughs> Can we replace these with Sagittars? Can we make Hot Wheels with Sagittars? Yes. Get them off. <gasps> right. Ooh. So. Next up, we've, <laughs> we've got the eight bound. Um, yeah, I'll go with the eight bound next because they should do some more mighty slapping. Because you've got 
arrow man over here, so that'll be the last model to be removed. So let's go with the eight bound first. The Lord Invocatus gives me um, his abilities are uh, full back in charge. Okay, cool. Great. Good work, my son. My champion gets it, so. Your champion is not fighting. No, he's here. That's my champion. Um, right, so we've got Eviscerators first. Steve, oh. it's called sharing. Maybe you should have that. <laughs> Um, sh seven attacks a model. That's pretty good, isn't it? That's quite a lot of attacks. Yeah. What's their special rule? Um, they get re-roll wounds if you're under starting strength or something like I'm that. I'm not under starting strength. So, it's re-roll wounds and it's an aura, but if you're under half strength and it's re-roll full wounds, okay? Oh, that's good. So re-roll wounds are one they get naturally. That's nice. Well, yeah. they give out a re-roll one's aura. It's an aura, yeah. Oh, okay, sick. Yeah. Well, they give re-roll full wounds as well to units that are under starting strength. One, two, three, four, five. Wish I had sustained. That'd have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. You didn't cheese it. Hmm? You didn't cheese it. I know. Probably didn't need the extra Amateur two minutes. Amateur hour over advanced it. charge, you came so close. Right, uh, I'm strength uh, seven, I believe. Uh, I'm toughness four. So threes. I don't, they don't get a four up in roll like the other unit. They get a five up in roll. I think. They do. I think you're on five up anyway. Oh, also, um, six is an extra AP versus you as well. Great. Didn't know that. Um, I'm actually strength six, but it doesn't affect the wound doesn't roll. Matter. Minus two, two damage. Two damage. Um, yeah. Minus two, so I'll do ten at a time, because obviously the Narrowman has a... I think they're all dead anyway, but... Uh, three left. Okay. One left. Dead. <laughs> Arrowman's on... Sorry, what? You uh, just roll then? Yeah. He's uh, taken two damage. Yeah, Aaron's, wow. on, Aaron's on four, but can we just bear in mind that like everybody in the world's now about to hit him, so I'll just take him off. Okay. Do cool. you want Khan to hit him? Yeah, maybe? let's just roll out yeah. Khan, because he's cool. because he's cool. It is cool. Khan's going to kill Aaron. Yeah. Oh, I went to go take the building off so I could um, do that. <laughs> and realize I, was, I would like do decahedra on the table. <laughs> so Khan gets nine attacks on the charge. Mm hmm. Hits on twos. Nine attacks on the charge. Yep. Wait a minute. He's That's got Gore Child, mate. Dramatic or something. Well, he's got eight base, you see, plus one for charging. I'm strength seven. Araman putting the sacrifice in for his people just to make sure he can get Doesn't he reroll ones to hit and wound? Yeah, I should have rerolled that hit roll. And then the wound. Yeah, cool. So, um, that many saves, mate. Minus two, three damage. Nice, dead. Cool, cool, cool. But no in, the, in the right order of doing things, I'm pretty sure Invocardus and the sergeant would have killed him because obviously they would have to. Play oh, him. I didn't know that they they hadn't fought. Oh, that's yeah. fine. So they, yeah, they would die. So you get to do. Piling. I can pile in towards this unit. Yeah. And then you would hit that unit. And then I could hit this unit if I wanted. Yeah. That's killing the unit. So we'll just say the say the roll you did was for this yeah. unit. Yeah. And this unit can also pile in towards the objective. Mm -hmm. uh, do I want to pile in towards the objective? So your rubrics get your full list? real wounds, right? Uh, all the people in reserve. I've got the big unit terminators. I'm not going to put Khan units within range of the objective, though. Yeah. Because I don't want to be on the objective, because then obviously you reroll wounds against yeah. me, don't you? Yeah, the really important moment here is that I am going to get exactly enough cabal points back. I and that believe. unit could just pile in and end there. I'm going to get exactly enough cabal points back to strip a save again. <laughs> so I think we're just going to be trading unit for unit, to be honest, in this game, like pretty handedly, because I should kill them. Right. Okay. My man. They know more lethal because um, I'm not leading a unit. That uh, concludes my, my turn. Man. Hang on a minute. I need to make sure <laughs> I've done this correctly to get engaged in all fronts for three points. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you'll get three points when you get the four. Yeah. So my man, all hit, strength six, so toughness of the exalted. Uh, it's five or six. Okay, so one dev wound, three if it's... The toughness six. So one wound, yep. uh, no armour save. So just five up in vulnerable save. Mm -hmm. Cool. So the first one, you take two. Uh, six plus feel no pain, because oh, they've got it baked in. And the dev wound, you take three. Great. So one dies. One dies, yeah, yeah. cool. Hooray. Woohoo. Uh, cool. That was my... Where's my twi twin chain fist man? Um, hang on. Two. Oh, no. no, hang on a minute, oh, hang, hang on, on a minute. He's got lost. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. Great. Cool. Nice. 
End of the turn. Oh, that's your wounds left. You've got one wound, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've got one wound left. Is this round three, by the way? Yeah. No, this is um, bottom of two. Yeah. Right, so end of the go. Um, you're going to get what, Stevie? Poo. Secure um, no man's land. So I'm actually, once I killed this unit here, yeah. um, I'm going to spend a CP, mm -hmm. my last CP. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is have another blood tithe round, okay? Okay. So, so I you could, can re-roll it. Basically, I can add this into addition to what I already have. But you're going to lose them at the end of your turn. Oh, hang on a minute. We're gonna, it's a new battle round. Yeah, because it's going to be There's a new no battle point. round, yeah. Can you not sticky the objective if you killed me? Um, I think it's only you for you. Yeah. I th I, yeah, I'm not going to do that yet. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two CPs. Cool. Um, Bit of a silly strategy. Yeah, it should just be whenever something dies. Only works that strategy if you go first. Hmm. Yeah. Um, cool. So um, you're going to get to Kino Man's land and engage. Yep. And I get, yeah, only three quarters. So, so five and then another three points for that. So another eight point round for me. I'm going to get Defend Stronghold for free. Yep. And then going into my turn, I'll get five primary. Yeah. Yep, don't worry. Sorry, mate. I'm just. And done. then I'll get cleanse and capture enemy outpost. Where is. Who's on. So you got cleanse and capture enemy outpost. Yeah, so I'm going to have to. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> so triple. this is the current scores. And then I'll get one CP and then um, I'll uh, battle shot for my man. He's fine. So I'm going to get two, four. Eight, nine, exactly nine to strip a save. Cool. It's like it's like I planned it. Um, I've rolled enough to literally pick whatever I want, so oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna have. Uh, what do I want? Six up, still no pain. Could be quite good. Not that I'm good at sixes, but there we go. Yeah, it's a bit of an oxymoron on that. Yeah. Anger on. Uh, drop onto the battlefield. No, 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 we're not playing that one anymore. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no, well, he had to, he's had to have died, Sebi. <laughs> <laughs> and as we can see, he's maybe died in our hearts, but not yeah. on the board. So I will go for the six plus fill no pain. Okay. And I think I'm also going to go for lethal as well. Okay. Six up fill no pain is definitely a really good shout. And lethal, yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. Cool. Um, so if you go to the top down and stuff, then me and yeah, Steve, sure. Stevie Box will do our cool. thing. But before, obviously, we go into commentating, we'll just hear from one of our sponsors. And we'll ah, be when right you back. Back. What do you think? And now for a word from our sponsor, C Studios. They are the experts in providing professional miniature painting services, ensuring your armies always look their best on the battlefield. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or just starting out, C Studios can help bring your miniatures to life. Don't miss out on their quality craftsmanship. Alrighty then, we are back. Um, it's just me. Seb has gone for a quick bathroom break, but don't worry, I'm still here. Um, so just uh, we've had a super chat from James. Uh, he said, here's $15 for free ones. Give yourself a few ultra monster energy drinks, Steve. Steve definitely needs his uh, energy drinks, as do I. Um, actually, I've been cutting off the energy drinks, haven't I, Steve? I'm mm. very proud to say. Are we unmuted? Oh, yeah, you are muted. I'm very proud to say... <laughs> I'm very proud to say that I've never really had an energy drink properly. Mm. Or, and like, like you've given me one once that tastes a bit funny, but... Mm. That wasn't an energy drink. Well, then it was good. <laughs> 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 um, can I see you over that crate? Right, I'll, I'll mute you guys and... Carry on commentary, yeah? Yeah, exactly. All right then, so guys, how are we feeling about the game? Um, it looks like the World Eaters... Can can Steve really get well table Jake? That is going to be the question, right? But um, but yeah, it's it's interesting to see how this has uh, turned out. So Jake's now just got cleanse and capture enemy outpost. Um, it's going to be difficult for him to get capture enemy outpost, I think, because I don't. Just looking at the table, it doesn't look like he's got many assets left. Um, <laughs> but he has got a few reserves to come in, so we might see some some shenanigans there. Um, but he has got cleanse, which is definitely possible. So obviously we'll have to see how he... Oh, he does have someone popping in from the back. There we go. So he will be... Should be able to get capture enemy outpost if he can get rid of those jackals. Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Guys, let me know what armies you're working on at the minute. Because at the minute I'm obviously doing all my blood angels ready for LGT. Uh, Sebi is just back now, so we can discuss a few more things. Um, Warhammery. Yeah, what's going on? 
Uh, I was just discussing what Jake's got for his secondaries. Um, and yeah, just what did he get? <laughs> uh, he got cleanse and capture enemy outpost. So basically, Jake needs to get the objective where he's putting that um, ex exalted sorcerer, I think, on disc. Mm, invading Steve's um, home objective. Yeah, so he, if he does that, he can get the big eight points. Mm. But he's got some jackals in that building. Who knows? That's jackals are actually pretty annoying to kill. Yeah. Uh, they, they have a feel no pain. There's actually a really cool combo you can do with them if you have the Demon Prince, uh, give them a four pin vol, and then give them one of the Blessings of Corn for um, basically gives them plus one to their Feel No Pain. Oh, wow. So they can have a five up Feel No Pain. Is that? If they've already got a Feel No Pain, they get a uh, plus one to their Feel No Pain save. So that's what I've got on already. Oh, you've already got that on. So they've got the five up Feel No Pain. The Demon Prince gives you is the four up Pin Vol and yeah. four up Pin Vol save, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've got ah. the yeah, so you get a four up Pin Vol and then obviously you get five up Pain on top of that on Jackals, um, which is pretty funny. Um, so a few people have just put in the chat what they're doing. So uh, Ade is doing working on Drakari. I've actually been getting cool. my Drakari out as well. Oh, um, yeah. I've okay. finally got all of all of my models for Drakari. Nice. Um, so I've planned out what I need to build, a couple of ra uh, Ravagers, a couple of um, what they call the little Venoms. Yeah. Um, they're, they're quite good, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. It'll be nice to see them on the tabletop at some point. Mm. Um, but it looks like Jake's done, so let's head back. All right. In an ideal world, mm -hmm. I may kill a lot of stuff this turn. That wouldn't be ideal. Well, depending on who you ask. Um, so, brought in reserves, strategic reserves. So, brought in this unit of flame uh, rubrics with the Infernal Master to get a line here. Mm -hmm. I've got the, the unit of ter Terminators actually had to teleport because they couldn't actually all make it out. So, I've teleported. So, I've used Umbilific Crystal, so I can't use that. Nice. Anymore. Brought a unit of rubrics in on the backfield. They're just going to try and make a nine inch charge into the Jackals. Um, I've got a CP ready for that. Yep, because um, it'll be a big eight points if you get it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I could spend the CP to do other stuff, but we'll have to evaluate that as it comes. Yep. Um, then my one little exalted sorcerer on disc, and the reason I didn't put him in the unit anyway, he could have gone in the unit, is exactly for moments like this, so yeah. you can just turn up and get that for me. And then also, you had to make a leadership check, and yeah. you failed it, so you're in combat with me. Yeah, I had to take failed. a battle shock check anyway. Past that, failed the important one. <laughs> so, um, so Magnus now is going to have to charge the 8-bound, whereas actually I wanted to charge these 8-bound to get onto overs there. Yeah. But now it, it, that's scuffed that bit. Um, so let's go into shooting. So start the shooting phase, I'm going to spend my 9 Cabal points uh, to strip the armor save off the Corn Berserkers. What? Yes. How dare you? It's very good. And the other thing I'll do is I'll use the Terminate Sorcerer's ability. So I'll pick this unit yep. and I can reroll ones to hit. Nice. So, yeah. Okay, very cool. Um, just to help a bit. Yeah. Uh, cool. So let's start with Magnus. Yep. So Magnus is going to shoot all of his guns into this unit here. Okay, cool. So 3D3 shots. So that is... Healthy amount. Two, one, one. So seven. Uh, twos because it... He gets plus one and he hits on twos anyway. Yep. Strength nine. So... It's toughness six. So twos but sixes are dev wounds. Uh, so one dev wound. And Did you get plus one a wound? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, cool. so sorry. So Magnus is aura as he gives um, all psychic weapons plus one hit and wound. Okay. Cool. Which is really good. Um, so that is uh, three at minus two. So five ups here. Mm -hmm. And that is three damage. Each. Be really good if I could <laughs> roll a save. <laughs> so uh, I've hey, got look, four. you've got to paint a Fuegan for Mike. So I've got, I've got four to make. So yeah. the first three, because I've got a five plus four no paint here. Yeah. First one. <laughs> Is dead, cool. Yeah. And then the next one is alive. Is alive with two wounds left. Third one, he's, he's dead. now dead. And the final one. And then the final one, come on, give me a five. Oh, they're all dead. Cool. Well, Shame. Way, to do, way to do shots now. So, um, Shame. then we'll go with the Infernal Master's unit. Yep. So, we'll start the Infernal Master himself. Uh, he has. What's this going on? My corn berserkers. Yeah, so we'll go, we'll overcharge it. Mm -hmm. So, two D6 shots. Five. It is a flamer. So is everything in from Deep Strike now? Yeah. Cool. It's turn three, so I had to say. Yeah. Um, and then strength six. So you freeze to wound and I'm re-rolling wounds because you're on an objective. So five at minus two, and these are one damage each. What? Minus two? Yes, please. So oh. one dies. Oh, uh, no, I got a six plus one of pain. Oh, yeah. One Can't dies. make one, though. Don't worry. <laughs> um, bolt pistol mm -hmm. hits. Bolt pistol doesn't wound. Can we roll wounds because you're on an objective? One wound at minus one as well. I'm okay, cool. Uh, hazardous, I'm fine. Uh, and then flamer wise, I've got the actual flamers. So 10 shots. So five there. Five, got another five. Uh, fours, re rolling. Nice. So seven at minus one. 
Yep, cool. Four fail. Yeah. Six at Funo Pain. Uh, All fail. Two more. Then um, there's a flame. I'll start with the flame pistol. When will it end? When will it end, Bobby? Oh, I forgot to cleanse. I couldn't cleanse, so there's no. So I haven't done this that. This guy could cleanse. Oh, okay. Do you mind? Sure. Thanks. You do it at the end of the phase. Oh, we we'll do it in the sheet. It just says in your sheeting phase. It doesn't say when you do it. Okay, so cool. I'll do it then. Um, then um, I'm checking the flamer range on the pistol. 12, probably. Really? It's a pistol? Oh, yeah. Right. Sorry, I put logic into it. Um, Reroll. Nothing. So okay. Reaper, finally. And then freeze. Rerolling. One dev wound, one at minus one. One at minus one, he's okay. One dev wound, six of Funa Pain, takes it. Oh, gross. So, is that all the shooting you've got coming that, that way? That is all that unit shooting. So I'm really torn now. Do I stay on the objective? Mm -hmm. Or do I, and I think I'm gonna have to, because otherwise if I blood surge away from it. So. You didn't kill me, I was, I'd have loved to do As a tactical thing, you could blood surge towards me, so then I can't charge onto the objective. Yeah, but my point is, I can stay where you are, where I am right now, yeah. and hold the objective. Yeah. Or I could blood surge. Yeah. And I'm not going to make it, but I have to end closer to you. Yeah. So I could end up leaving the objective. Yeah. I was loving you, you to kill me, and I could just stick you. No, I know. <laughs> this so, is the best scenario. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a bad one. Yeah. Um, What's next? So I'm going to stay where I'm not going to. I'm not going to blood surge. Ooh. I'll do the unit. Okay. So we've got. Um, Bolter wise, there's two with cannons, so that's uh, eight times four, that's 32. Maths. Mm. Ah. Ah. So, cool. So these are freeze rolling ones. Nice. Uh, six is a lethal. Okay. And then uh, fours, but it doesn't matter what, like, I just need to roll 20 fours basically. Sure. So, so already. Got some lethals there. Some lethals. Any rerolls? A uh, few ones. You reroll ones, do you? Yeah, because that's the unit the sorcerer picked. Oh, that's good, isn't it? So, and it's all of your units get to reroll ones into it. That's Pretty handy. Much, yeah. No more lethals. Like no more heroes. So these are the lethal, yeah. Yeah, and okay, then watch that tree. Oh, sorry. Fours. Uh, see this. It. See this is where I was tempted to. Um, and one at a time, Jordan. What do you see? Uh, you need to push it towards Jake's side yeah. a little bit. This is where I was tempted to um, use my one CP for plus one strength, so to get me over the cap, but I was hoping I didn't need it. So far, that's 12. That's this many feel no pains. This all dev wounds? Yeah, no, 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 I've just stripped your save. Oh, you no save, okay, yeah. cool. Oh, you just don't have a save, Steve. Well, <laughs> my six plus feel no pain is working real good for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dead so far. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Um, then uh, the Soul Reapers. One, two, three. Yeah, carry on. Carry yeah, on. Soul Reapers. Uh, so three more dev wounds. Reroll ones. <laughs> two more dev wounds. Uh, freeze. So six. Uh, not dev wounds, just no save. May as well be dev wounds. Yeah. Two more dead. Pretty much is. Uh, yeah. And then the rocket packs. How do these work? I'm missing a guy. Did I, oh, I lost a guy earlier on getting yeah. out from the transport and yeah. then the eight bound uh, and light. So how many is left in the unit? Just Carl the Betrayer. Okay, cool. So he's got an involved, doesn't he? Yep. Yeah, cool. Um, so missile racks, so two missile racks. Uh, two dev wounds and a reroll. Strength 10. So four at minus two. And these are flat three damage. Are they lethal, right? not dev? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you, you, you said dev. dev wounds. No, so sorry. What I'm saying, so I had a lethal one anyway. Yeah. But what I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. I'm using my terminology wrong because it's basically because you said dev wounds. And yeah. Now I'm getting confused. So you had, you have no armor save. No, you just have four up in buns. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You don't. You do, these aren't dead. They okay. can't psychic. Cool. And they're Two flat saves. three damage. What? Pretty good. Right, come on, Khan. Make some sixes here. He's dead. He's cool. Dead. Well, that's the unit. Um, and that's that. Oh dear! Sage. Oh dear, oh dear. So charging. Um, you want to make this one? How many CP have you got? Uh, two. So you could heroically intervene. Sure. At least it means you go away from me. Uh, so over there, this is the big one. No, I have to CP that. Mm-hmm. No. Cool. Magnus. 
<laughs> no. He's failed as well. <laughs> He's awful. Okay, um, I needed that. And then I'm a bit hesitant here because you're just going to heroic me. That is, that'll be great. So I'll just stay there, just so I get an option to watch next cool, game. Because cool, cool. I've still got one. Oh no, I don't have any command points. Um, cool, so end of the turn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. No, you'll get to I hit get my to do man. some killing now. Oh. I'll have you know. I don't want you to kill me. Five attacks <laughs> with my exalted eight bound. Yeah. Oh, he's missed twice. Come on, mate. Twos. Reroll because of twin linked. He's dead. He's dead. He, he's dead. He's finally dead. Killed Phil. Sorry, Phil. You're not sorry, though, aren't you? Um, yes, um, Jordan. So we've actually got Liam Dempsey in the chat. Legend. Oh, he said one. that's some sexy terrain. It is some beautiful terrain. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it, it is. is thank you to Liam. They dropped it off last Thursday. So, uh, mm. yeah. Yeah. And our chaos frenzy of World Eaters versus... Uh, Liam, I'm sorry, mate. I'm not doing very good with World Eaters. <sighs> Don't worry, Liam. I'm beating Steve. Jake's killing me. Um, I got <laughs> cleanse. And I'm not going to discard enemy outposts. As much as I'd love a CP, it's pretty much... You don't have anything to come in from deep strike, right? Nope. So it's pretty much guaranteed it's going to happen at some point. It's just when it's going to happen. Some Whoa. big chat, isn't yeah. it? I'm just talking how you speak to me. Boss and then, um, uh, So I'll get three points for cleanse, and I won't discard capture enemy outposts. Mm. Okay, well, I will spend a CP. Now I killed that unit there. Mm -hmm. And I'm now going to try and trigger another... Um, oh, okay, because actually is like... Now it might actually work. Mm -hmm. So I got a triple, triple one. one. Classic Steve. And then uh, you got a quadruple one if you really. Yeah, and I'm on one, two. Well, I've got three icons, so I can reroll three dice. Yeah. So I'll reroll these. Mm -hmm. A five one. Okay, I've got a double six. So I will go for. I've got lethal and I've got six plus four, no pain for all good it's done me. Um, I'll go for advance and charge. Let's okay. do that. Cool. Um, so I start your turn, I'll get one CP. Cool, cool, cool. Battle shocks for you, my good sir. Oh yeah, these guys will have to... No, they will be, yeah. They'll yeah, be battle shocks. 100%. <laughs> Unit in the corner. So how many objectives am I on? I've You're got on one. One, two, two three. Two, three at the moment. if you battle shock... I know, I'm just yeah. thinking about what I'm going to... If I spend a CP. Mm. He's probably got a better leadership. So I'll just roll that one first. Yep. So he's definitely failed it. So they're battle shocks. <laughs> so really... Having to pass here is quite important. This is a good fun game. <laughs> I'm having loads of fun. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, that could have been a big 15 points, but no, I'll have to spend a CP to, yeah. Just... To, get you, to get you the 10. Yeah, it's just to get me 10 points, yeah. yeah. I'm struggling here on points. So, um, yeah, over to me then. I've got capture enemy outposts. <laughs> Come get it. <laughs> and I've got attempting target. Can you uh... pick an objective? That one? Yeah, I thought you might. Well, the other, like, with Tenting Target, you can play quite tactically with it because you could just pick an objective. But, like, if you had a really scary unit on that and nothing else, I'd pick, like, one you're already holding so mm -hmm. they can't leave. But that one you can go kill Mr. Wizard. Mr. Wizard. Disc. Fair enough. Okay, so you can mute me and then uh, go to your, yeah, conversation. Our conversation. Your conversation. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, dude. Yeah, uh, wow. I mean, Thousand Sun Shoot him, yeah? Yeah, that was um, pretty brutal. Yeah, definitely. It's, yeah, it's um, um, thousand sun shooting is just absolutely horrific when you just turn off saves, and it's so many shenanigans you can do with the thousand suns um, come to shooting phase. So yeah, it's absolutely nuts. Yeah, no, I'm starting to see that. Um, the cabal point system is quite interesting. It's actually really cool. I actually like it. It reminds me of the um, Ozzy Arc Bone Reapers a little bit from um, Age of Sigmar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you think they'll ever um, mix the um, CP and the uh, Cabal points into one at some point? I don't think so because it's two separate systems and they don't, mm. otherwise they'll just become stratagems rather than an army rule. Um, and they've already got stratagems, right? So they don't need well, to be... Um, well, I mean, as Bone Reapers have their own like list of stratagems that they get access to as well, but then they also get loads of CP. Yeah, it's it's similar to that though, isn't yeah. it? That's what a cabal point basically very similar, is. Yeah, um, um, yeah quick thing. Uh, James Wargamer said, "Don't you declare before you roll for insane bravery?" Now, that's correct. So Steve failed his first one, and he decided to use insane bravery um, on the second unit that needed to take um, a battle shock test. So he decided before he rolled it. Um, and yeah, you can only use it once per game as well. That's another big change from the balanced data slate. 
So yeah, it's um it makes it makes um these bravery checks a lot more impactful. Yeah, you you really have to think about it because yeah. it could be critical. Um, well, it's just scored him another five on, points, mate. I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. So yeah, he's got capture enemy outpost and attempting target. Um. It's going to be difficult to get capture enemy outpost because there are ten terminators. Oh, oh, there's some Overwatch happening. Seven at minus two. Seven at minus two. What's Overwatch in what? So the f I declared that I was going to move this unit. Yep. And while they're in range of the objective, so Jay gets his re-rolls, he's using Overwatch now to kill this unit. Okay. So they're now dead. Yeah, cool. And, uh, but and I'm going to spend a CP now, and it will remain under my control. Okay, so you've done uh, sticky objectives. What's and, I'm the, out, and I'm out of CPs. What's the stratagem called, do you know? It's called like a blood offering Baby or something. Blood or something. It's uh, called Blood Offering. Blood Offering. So that's that's a stratagem on the screen. You can now. mute us now, carry on doing what we do. Cool. Okay. All right then, dude. So, pretty interesting. Losing a unit, but just um, sticking an objective for it. Yeah, it was one of those things, right? Like, I think it would have been nice to see that you can use this when you kill a unit, like Steve and Jake were saying earlier. Um, so you could kill a unit and sticky an objective. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, like, that yeah, would be that pretty would be cool. Pretty um, but it's kind of, it only works if you die. Mm. Which obviously you don't want to be happening, but <laughs> but it's still um, corn cares not right. Oh my god, George, you got to be careful. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, it's 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 been interesting. I'm I'm still not sure who's. I mean, Jake's looking in a very good position right now because Steve's lost a lot of his big assets, a lot of them. Like yeah. that middle part of the board was just filled with world eaters. They're currently now crispied. Crispied. They're crispied, mate. right? Crispied and fried. <laughs> Crispy and fried. Mm. Um, but Invocados cares not. He's running forward. Avocado man. There avocado man. Do you like avocados? Uh, they're okay. We're getting yeah. a bit off topic. Oh, okay. um, chat, Sorry. do you like avocados? Anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty interesting. Mm. Uh, I'm actually uh, really liking this terrain. You know? Yeah, no, this the Titans terrain is actually it's, it's so, so good. Like genuinely, like me and Steve, we've done a video um, today, which will hopefully come out in the next few weeks. Um, which is basically us talking about um, how we would set up the board um, when it comes to each deployment zone. Um, um, so we've got oh, okay. so yeah. we've got like Crucible of Battle. And we've we've set up the board how we think um, it should be played in a competitive scenario. So it can we can make sure that the, when you're using this terrain, it's it's as balanced as possible during a game. Yeah. Um, so you've got the right amount of terrain on and the right placing of the terrain as well, because obviously that's um that's. It's, it's really impactful with the placing of the terrain because um, you don't want it to give advantage to a certain type of army or yeah. there to be too little or too much firing lanes. Do you know what I mean? So we've we've come up with some cool um, cool maps, I think, actually. And there's some actually that I'm really excited to try out. I like the set of tiles that you can just um, mix and match it all. That's quite cool. Yeah. It uh, looks like they're ready. Yeah. What's going, on? What's going on, Steve? Okay, so I've advanced the jackals over to charge. Steve, I'm in the last crisis. Uh, the exalted eight bound are coming to claim this objective for attempting target. Yeah. Uh, my exalted eight bound, so eight bound and avocados have mm -hmm. come over to the terminators. These guys are battle shocked, so they're just chilling on this objective. They thought about charge and magnus, but then I remember he's minus one damage. So that is my movement phase, and we're into the charge phase. Let's do it. Jackals into your unit here. Mm -hmm. Seven. As, again, it's important to note because um, by the fact of me using Overwatch here, it meant that Steve then was free to move the Jackals. Whereas if I just didn't Overwatch, this wouldn't be happening. Ah. Interesting. Yes. The more you know. I oh, know. These guys, I can't fail this charge. So I'm just going to go there. And then... Um, Chuggerman and Friends. Chuggerman and Friend are going to charge the Terminators on a five. Uh, and that he's within six to get base to base with that model. Mm -hmm. So as long as he goes to there, he'll be able to fight. Everybody needs to get base to base. Mm -hmm. So you're minus Where's one. your objective? Uh, right on okay. this guy. So I need to kill lots of models. So mm -hmm. I'll get all my models within three. And I just need to kill lots. Mm -hmm. That's what I've got to do to get the capture enemy outposts. Right, and I'm out of CPs. It's just down to the dice gods. Let's fight. Let's do this. Right, over here, my sergeant guy with the two chain fists. Twos, six is a lethal. Ooh. And we are going for twos. Five saves, please, sir. 
Uh, AP2? I don't, I don't have any like re-rolls or anything. So, uh, two, how much damage? Two each. So, I assume he's got one more wound than the other guy. No, he'd be dead, surely. Surely be dead. Helbrick's only got four or five wounds. He has six wounds, so... What? I've got two wounds what? left. He's got more wounds than Helbrecht. How many does Helbrecht have? He used to have Not like six. No. Helbrecht doesn't have six wounds. No, he's got like five. He's checking. What a chump. Right, so it's fine. I've got the other dude yet in the, in the squad. So melee attacks from him. Do I go with a chain fist? Eviscerator, six attacks. You can't go wrong with a good six attack. And this is two damage each, right? Yeah. yeah. Twos. They're both lethal. Oh, that misses. And then, okay, five saves, please. Uh, so you just got to fail one. Oh, just. I didn't leave you any change. There you go, sir. Thank you. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then I will go over here with the jackals. Mm -hmm. See what jackals can do. Jackals. They're picking up these these rubric marines. You That's reckon? Awesome. No, they are. Ooh. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they are. No, they're not. <laughs> So I've got a Dishonored, some Jackals, and a Jackal Chainblade is on the uh, pack leader. They've got loads of different weapons, so I just need to make sure I do this properly, okay? So the Dishonored Chainblade... Doesn't no. he have the Wrecking Ball? Yeah, he's got the Mauler Chainblade. The Skull Smasher is what Skull he's got. Skull Smasher. Skull Smasher. Four attacks on the Skull Smasher. Okay, so that's one lethal, mm -hmm. two hits. And two wounds. Oh, I need to roll another attack as oh. well because I charged, didn't I? I hit and a wound. Oh. So that's five saves. He's a minus one, please. So four up. Uh, fair one. Two damage. So if you just uh, we'll just kill we'll kill the soul reaper dude because he's not really very useful. Then I got a jackal chain blade gets me three attacks. Mm -hmm. Is that all he's got? What these guys got? They got jackal chain blades as well. For every ten. One Jackal Chain Blade can be swapped with a Mauler Chain Blade. Okay, so I've got one Mauler Chain Blade in the unit. Let's see what that does. Mauler Chain Blades, three attacks. Sustain six, but that's also lethal. Sustain six? <laughs> Sustain on sixes. <laughs> Only hits on fives. Luckily I rolled what? Let's say one. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, so that's only one, please. Yeah, minus one. Failure. Two damage. So that's another one dead. And then the Jackal Chain Blades, we've got three attacks a model. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think quite a lot of that, these guys. So these are sustained one and lethal. So one, two, three, four, five. And they hit on fours, so the three threes miss. Quite good, these little guys. And then I put five extra attacks back in. Mm -hmm. I think if you run a unit of 20 of these and, you know, put sustained, well, they've already got sustained on it, but lethal on, yeah. they lethal. hit all right, don't they? Yeah. Well, you just picked the, you just picked yeah, up the, those five yeah, you need to put five dice down. So they've already also, five automatic. Because they've already wounded, yeah. yeah. Uh, what strength are they? Uh, I'm going to be strength four because I charged. Oh, very good. So fours. Nice. And then, and then those five back in. Yeah. Cool. Minus. No AP. So three yeah. Uh, one dead, two dead. So just the wizard left. Just the wizard. Just the wizard. There you go, sir. What? Good work. Good work, Jackals. Good job. That's close. Then... That's close to my approximation. Still wrong. I'm anyway. just going to wrap him and so then he can't get out. Here? Yeah, the exciting one, eh? The, the eight bound. Mm. Come on, eight bound babies. So you're minus one to wounds. What? And you, yeah. You didn't tell me this earlier. Well, just a scarab of colour. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> uh, gotcha. Yeah. Right, four attacks with the, five attacks with the lacerators first. Mm -hmm. Well, they're, mm. they're lethal. They're lethal, yeah. <laughs> okay, that'll do it. And, and then, then minus one to wound, so I'm wounding on strength 10. Save threes. Threes. Cool. Cool. So that's four invulnerable saves, please. How much damage? Three each. So three die. Woohoo! I'll take these three just to then try and keep you off the objective. Then we've got seven attacks for all the other guys. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Each. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> seven attacks for oh, Queen. Wow. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, have we got any more dice? One, two, three, four. Got five here. I need another two. There's one there on the 
see that big orange one? Yeah. There, yeah, cool. And then, and then chuck me, oh, yeah, cool. Thank you. So threes, sixes out. Yes, VT6. Look at all these lovely play on sixes as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. Give me the sixes. Branding. Yes. <laughs> Give me some branding. Give me some good branding. Mm, branding. branding. You ever read Brandy? Mm. That's horrible stuff. So minus one to wound would be threes, now fours. Mm. This big, big difference. So you reroll ones? I do reroll ones, but I didn't roll any ones. Oh, nice. Mm. <laughs> when you want them, can't get them. Can't buy them. So uh, I'll take, yeah, cool. Uh, minus, minus two, two damage. So four up, so for every two I fail, kill one. So one, two, three. Four. Four dead. Four more dead. So we'll go. And then I got the avocado. Chug them in. <laughs> yeah. The avocado. Come on, baby. Right. He gets eight attacks on the charge. Cool. These are, these are devastating wounds. Chug. 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 Hits on twos. That's a lethal. Wait, that's illegal. Um, <laughs> and then uh, strength six, strength seven. So fours. Fours. So one dev. And, and then two wounds. Oh, real, ones, real yeah. ones. Yeah, come on. It's two sixes. Come on, baby. Oh! And then minus. Uh, these are minus two. So T failed. So that'd be one dead and then another one dead because the dev wounds. Yeah, cool. So I've just got the wizard and the character wizard. But then I get extra attacks. Oh, with because the, I got horns. With the rhino. Bladed horns. Rhino, rhino, rhino. Two miss. Mm -hmm. Hitting on uh, strength six. So, oh, lance. Oh, so you ignore the minus one. Okay, minus one, two damage. Uh, so one's on a wound. Cool, cool, cool. I've got one terminator on a wound. Beautiful. Cool. That's great because you might fail battle shot. Yeah. Do I get um? I get to hit you back. You will, yeah. Yeah. So I'll do you into the jackals over there. Mm -hmm. Before you roll your dice, mate, we have had a super chat from Lee Barnes. Legend Lee. He said, "Will be great to meet Mr. Handsome if I can get down to the outpost on Friday. Such a handsome man, and Steve too, as well, I guess." What? I thought he was talking. Look, 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 look. I'm the main course. You're the dessert. <laughs> what? <laughs> what am I? The starters. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so oh, oh. Um, you're, you're like the mint when you... The after eight. Yeah, you're like the after oh, eight. I'm, I'm, I'm the palate the cleanser. cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, rubric, two hits. Um, this will be... What toughness are you? Three? Yeah. So two's re-rolling ones with dev. So two at minus one. Both three. D three damage each. So one each. One each. Yeah. Five up for no pains. No. Two dead. <laughs> and then um, well, I've got force weapon. Oh, sorry, I did. Hang on. I owe you an extra attack over there. No, one you don't. Minute. One more at minus one. Feel no pain. Two damage. Come on. Oh, you feel no pains, ain't? I'm yeah. feeling them all. And then um, <laughs> scab a coal, uh, so hitting on freeze yeah. with two lethals and strength six, so uh, one dev. So two at minus one and one so at dev. Four ups. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Good, good work, So saves. First one, one. Yep, yeah, five up. Six up even. Second one, two. Six up. No. And then the dev. dev. One dead. And one. One so dead. One dead. Then my, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think my saving has been great this game, has it? I think averagely, I've, have I even made one? I don't think you made a single field of pain. A good sport no. never blames that on. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not blaming them. Oh, it's more just a what? fact. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then I've got glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Jay. This model's really confusing because <laughs> I actually do need to wear glasses. In my eye. I didn't wear my contacts I today. To see with Hopefully, them your prescriptions actually. Um... No, you're not going to be able to see with them on. No, I can. Yeah. You can. Yeah. You'd be surprised how strong my <laughs> contacts are. Um... I'm like half blind in one Jake, eye. Jake, you are incredibly handsome. I know. I know. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Um, <laughs> for some reason, you can repl You can give him like a force weapon and a sword. Oh. Um, mine was always had a bolt. I just didn't know that. So, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. So, um, where's uh, five? 
<laughs> you took those off like my granddad. <laughs> Back in my day. Back in my day. <laughs> I'll have you know that I've always had a bolter. Uh, <laughs> freeze, uh, and then freeze. Two at minus one. So it's another save I made. Not. Oh, I did actually make a save, guys. Three damage. Great. Come on, six up, feeling a pain here. Come you on, this. You got this. Come Three on. sixes. Go. Yes! yes! <laughs> Wait, did he actually roll? No, he rolled two sixes. sixes. He's, he, he's no, alive, he's, baby. He's just <laughs> Put that on that guy over there. Cool. He's, right. He's on how many? One. One. Oh. So I've tried pointing at this guy. Yeah. So I have okay. to make a desperate breakout. You will. And he's, he needs an emotional breakout as well. Yeah, that's fine. Like me. Okay. So. Um, Coolio. So end of your go. Mm. Your I got capture enemy outpost. You're definitely getting um, thingy. Cause and I a don't tempting know. target. Yeah. So I will get... Uh, 13. Big 13 for Very Stevie good. B. Very good. Uh, I'm going to get a grand total of zero primary, which I think now has scuppered me. Um, I gain a CP. Uh, battle shock here. I'm fine. Ugh. Battle shock with the rubric in the corner. He's fine. He's a space yeah. wing, so he's fine. Um, I'll get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cabal points. Eleven. Eleven. Now. I do have Lord of Forbidden Lawman, but it doesn't really matter because I can only still do my ones because I don't have enough thingies. Um, that wasn't very good. Mm. Whilst you're thinking on that, we've had a, a message come in the chat from Patrick New. Uh, he said, greetings from Germany. Uh, you guys are awesome. Mr. Box, you're a legend. Thanks for all you guys um, do for our hobby. There are a lot of people appreciating, appreciating what you do, honestly. Thank you very much. Thank that you. honestly yeah. means a huge amount to us, it does. So... Uh, yes. Yeah, we we do work. It might notice how we probably you probably you guys probably we don't do anything, but we actually work yeah. really really hard. Mm -hmm. The whole team does, and um, what? yeah, we it, it's, it means a lot because some days are pretty difficult, especially when you're dealing with certain things and mm. trying to bring it all together, make it all happen. So thank you so much. It really means a lot. Mm. Makes it all worth it. Mm. So my blood tithe offering, I'm not sure what to go for. I think. I quite like that lethal combo. Lethal mm. was working pretty well, wasn't it? That was nice. And it also means you're maybe less tempted to work with old Magnus if I get lethal. Yeah. So I'm going to stick with lethal, and I'm going to, for what good it's been doing me, the, I'm going to go for the six plus feel no pain. Okay, nice. Yeah. Um, so I don't think you need to go to top down. You can if you want to, but there's not a lot I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to Okay, well, so Yeah. Top quick down. heard. We've got to have a quick word <laughs> from yeah. our sponsor, and we're back. Cool. So for those that are, are waiting and to decide on, on joining the academy, uh, you should have made that decision yesterday. There's no thought about it. I was that person contemplating it. You take that step, you take the plunge if you want to be a better competitive player. The Vanguard Tactics Academy is worth every penny. Again, it's about time versus money. Will I be signing up for the Vanguard Tactics Academy? Yes, I will. The biggest thing I've learned and, and came with from the academy um, probably is the community. Great coaching, super friendly people, um, that know how to teach. I would not be here without it. BT has been more than a games experience, it's been a life-changing experience. I will forever be thankful for BT. All right, Sebi, we're oh. back. Uh -huh. You are drinking water, so I will oh. carry on the conversation. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, actually, sorry, Seb, I can't talk to you right now. Jake's oh. ready. But you've got capture enemy outposts. I know. So if you decide to move back out of here... But I've got a full back through you, and if I roll a one or a two, I die. Yeah, but if you roll a three, four, or five, or six... I can re-roll the test as well. That's the other thing, because you can CP a desperate breakout. Can you? Yeah, we found that out this weekend, yeah. yeah. Because if you... I'm telling you now, you don't want to stay in combat. Because you will die. Okay, so Doom Bolt. Ooh. But what I'm saying is you could just roll a dice and get eight points. Yeah, but... You have... To, don't worry about Doom Bolt. You just need okay. the eight points. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go, but then if watch this. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll have that. Because I was gutted I didn't kill the unit yeah. because okay. of this. Cool, that's fine then. Yeah. Cool. And then I can Doom Bolt here. And because you passed your Battle Shock, yeah. it would have, I think, been worth spending the CP to guarantee that. Obviously, you rolled high enough anyway. Yeah. But that is such a good move for eight points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's yeah. Cool. I had one play to kill it, so uh, I was I was really worried that I wouldn't kill it, and obviously I didn't. So right. that was a great play. So mm -hmm. now we've done that. 
I'm going to do some stuff. Yes. What was your second? Um, oh, second uh, one? extend battle line. So I have to capture. So I've got to reclaim my one and then hold at least one out there. But if I hold just one out there, I'll get. And you got points. no primary this turn, did you? No. Cool. Uh, cool. So that's my C. No, I still have my CP. Mm -hmm. Um. Right. So we'll go. So start the shooting phase. I'll doom bolt. Okay. So that'll put me down to four. Mm -hmm. So on this unit, five. So that's yeah. going to be D three plus three mortals. Uh, four. Six up filling pains. Come on, lads. Oh dear, two dead. And then... No, he took a wound, so he's now down... I've got one guy with a wound. Oh, okay. There you go. Because uh, I rolled double sixes, didn't I, earlier? Yeah, and then... Um, I've just got enough to re-roll a save twice. So, not very useful. But, uh, right, so yeah, boy. Magnus will shoot everything into this unit. Okay. So, big shots. So, six. Hitting on twos. Uh, and then twos because it's plus one to wound with dev. So um, three at minus two. Okay, so five ups. Yeah. Uh, that's just, oh, and then they're three damage each. So. Okay, cool. Um, so the first one, yeah, first. I should have rolled these separately because I had an in run oh, in there. Do you want to do it again? Well, look, that, uh, that's what I rolled. So, so we'll just say the Corm Zerk is dead and you pass the invul. No, it's all right, we can do it this way. Okay. So basically, what we'll do is we'll say that this dice here. Yeah. On a five or a six is on the master executioner. Okay. No. Okay. I've so still got the dev anyway. But... They all go through. Yeah. So the first one. First one is, is dead. dead. The second one is dead. Is dead. And, and then, then on the master executioner, want to take six. He's going to take six. Yeah. Okay, he's dead. Cool. And then I'll spend a CP you and. Can't they battle shots? Oh yeah, because we're not on a new turn yet. Yeah. <laughs> that's the whole reason I've done it that way. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, smart play, Jake. Good yeah. work, Jake. Cold and counter. Well, that's the whole. That's that's why I didn't go over here because mm. then otherwise, if I shoot them off, they can do it. So the whole idea is that if I shoot these off, they can't stick it, and then they can't stick it anyway because Magnus will just hold it. Yeah. So good. Good, good work. thinking, me. I forgot they were battle shocked. Good mm. job, me. Yeah. Uh, right. Shoot in Infernal Master. Let's do this. We'll overcharge. Uh, five shots. Nice. Uh, strength six. So toughness six. Yeah. So fours we roll in. Uh, so that is three at minus two. These are one damage each. Five ups. One goes through, but I've only got a guy with a wound left. Yeah. Six up, feel no pain. Oh, he's okay. Loves it. Oh, nice. uh, bolt pistol hits. Uh, Rerolls the wound. Doesn't wound. Does he take wounds? No, he doesn't. Then um, I'll do the soul reapers next. Yep. I like the soul reaper. Uh, don't like the soul reaper anymore. Uh, <laughs> fours. Rerolling. Uh, one dev wound, two at minus one. Four ups. Yeah. Feel no pain and feel no pain. Oh, so one dies, one's on two. Yep. Uh, then I'll do the flame pistol next, just because I like going down the line weirdly. Uh, five, uh, sixes with rerolls, with extra AP that is. What? So four at minus two, and these four. are one damage each. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> Six at Philip Haynes. Oh, one's on a wound. Then the three flamers. Yep. Uh, Twelve. The amount of damage just five rubrics put out is insane. It is insane. Like the reroll wounds is so strong because everyone's always on an objective, yeah. right? So that is four at minus two and two at minus one. Minus twos, yeah. three go through, six at Fiona Pains, all failed. Oh, so that's, uh, and then two at minus one. Two at minus one, both okay. Cool, so one's dead, one's on a wound. Yeah. Cool, that ends that. Um, that was grim. Cool, Magnus will charge the people. You're He's in. in. Um, then Magnus will hit the people. Mm -hmm. uh, not the people. Not, not the, the people. The people. The people. The rock says the people. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, twos. Yeah, mate. And then these are dev with twos to wing. So two lots and then four at minus three. Three damage each. Five ups. And then three damage each on all of these. Cool. Including the devs. So I'll take these out. Yeah. So hang on. Five dice. I'll count. Keep count. So first one. Five at Fiona Pains. Takes a wound. Second one. He's dead. Yeah. And then just nine. Easy. Yeah. Easy. No, no, no problem, guys. Yep, he's dead. Gone now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then that... I don't think I've got a fart on death strat. Fart on death? Fight on death. You probably do fart <laughs> oh, on I have death. A, oh, I have a blood authoring. That's what I have as a fart on death. Like a blood... Um... Oh, you can use a blood type. Yeah, blood type for fart on oh. death. Yeah. Um, then that ends me. So capture any outposts for eight. Um, how much OC do you have here? Put lots more than me, so. What have you got even on? Got on it? 
uh, just two Terminators. Oh, of course, yeah, they yeah, fell back. That's yeah. why I wanted to kill these off. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ten points because I still get extend battle lines if I just hold an A man's land for two, mm -hmm. and I'll get eight for capturing any outpost. So another ten. Very nice, sir. Nice. Um, so your turn, battle shock over here, please. I'm up to two CP now. Uh, yep, battle shock check. Uh, Six. You're fine. Cool. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, you're gonna get ten. Because I hold that one still. Five. Oh, yeah, 10 because you hold that. And I stick you that one. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. It was either go there or go here. I'm tempted to wait. <laughs> cool. Well, I'll uh, meet you. And Jord is just sorting out the scoreboard for you guys. Magnus absolutely punked that dude. And <laughs> punk those guys in the middle. <laughs> There's a lot of punking going on. Right a now. lot of punking. Um, <laughs> it's nice to see Steve start making some piano pains um, <laughs> at long last. Well, yeah, but I mean, things are still dropping like flies, right? Yeah. <laughs> Shame they're not a Nurgle army. But um, well, yeah, we it's... Have no pain. Dude, this has been such a brutal game now, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm, Just a lot of yeah, trading. So much, so much death. So many models taken off the board. They're rolling um, for something right now. Mm. But yeah, it's it's been insane. Um, World Eaters flying ahead right now with the points. Um, but to be fair, I think a lot of that's been through the primary. So Steve's played really well on actually managing to, even though he's losing a lot and taking a lot of casualties, mm. he is able to actually hold the primaries. And by doing that, He's really mitigating the points that Jake's actually scoring up. So even though Jake's doing well on his secondaries, he's not actually able to get the other 50 points, which he's struggling to get, right? Yeah, nice. Um, so, yes, a masterful display from Stephen Box. <laughs> masterful. Masterful. Look at him. Masterful. Bottom. Bottom of turn four. So it's... Jake it's says it's looking bleak. It's, it's looking we'll bleak. Um, Steve, what did you just draw? Sorry. I drew investigate signals and deploy teleport homers. Investigate signals and deploy teleport I'm homers. Gonna spend a CP to get rid of investigate signals. He's spending a CP to get rid of investigate signals. Stronghold. So Defend stronghold. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> so that's actually good, yeah. That's yeah, the best thing that can happen. Then Jake overwatched here and killed a couple of models. Yeah. Oh. So um, charge phase. He's well, you don't want to. You want to deploy a teleport aimer. Yeah, I know. So you don't. So you, the only you want to charge with those guys. Yeah, I'm just charging here. Yeah. They're staying where they are. Yeah, yeah. They'll die next go, but they were going to die next go anyway because either I'll come round and do that, mm -hmm. or yeah, so. or Magnus just shoots them and kills them. Yeah, exactly. So. Cool. They're in. The big thing is, I'm only going to get another five primary. So I think you've, you've you've run away with the game on primary. Sadly, I can't score primary. Very sad. So let's go then. Let's do this, Mr. Jackalman. Come on, got to just finish this guy off. The thing is, only hit on fours. It's not great. Skull Smasher time, five attacks. We said Come that on. last time, but like you obliterated it. Oh, three lethals and, a, and two hits. I think that's all you need, really. The Skull <laughs> Smasher. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> a four. Oh, 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 two oh, damage. Oh. <laughs> right, cool. Okay, that well, gets me uh, five points. Cool. So you're going to get um, uh, five points and then starting to defend the stronghold. Yep. Cool. How Can this guy double move? Yeah, but he can't charge if he double moves. Right. But my, my OC is better than yours. But you can shoot, though. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second. Before we do anything in, we need to pile in closer to an objective. Over three away. So you can't end an engagement range. No. But I've got a 16 inch move plus two, no, sorry, 14 inch plus two, 16 inch. Yeah, but my point is. I'll just charge. Yeah, you can just charge me, can't you? Yeah. So I'm going to get rid of Defend Stronghold. Cool, for a CP. Yeah. Good shout. Righty ho, Neighborinos. So I'm, two CPs. I'm, oh, Battle Shock for this unit. They're fine. Uh, quick thing, guys, I've just got a few messages that I wanted to uh, read out, if that's mm -hmm. right. So, um, uh, Joshua Don has said, started playing 40k two months ago. Thanks, thank you to all of you. You've taught me so much already. I'm going to my first tournament in November. Any advice? First tournament in November? Yeah. Um, I would ensure that you really understand your rules. So take some time to memorize all the data sheets. Make your army list as streamlined as possible to you know, remove fatigue. 
and also have a game plan going into each turn, okay? So what objectives do you need to hold? What do you need to kill? What secondaries do you need to score? Really break it down in logical chunks rather than getting overwhelmed by the game. Also practice on a chess clock as well. So in you know the run up to the tournament, get three or four games in using a chess clock with your friends and you know, or even if you just use it for yourself, get used to that in case somebody would like to play on a chess clock. And also if it is your first tournament, I would actually suggest you do use one and just say, hey, I would love to use this so I don't, you know, because you probably will be slower. I know I certainly was when I went to my first tournaments. And even if I'm rusty, I'm much slower as well um, because, you you know, it can be a bit overwhelming. Lots of people to talk to. So, yeah, definitely get practiced on the chess clock. So then time isn't an issue and you then don't, you know, you make sure your opponent also has all the time they should have as well. Have fun. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Mm. Don't have fun. Have some. Have some drinks. Stay some still, hydrated. Some still water. Some definitely have some still water. Some beers. <laughs> Just enjoy yourself. Oh, sorry. No no. Beers. Uh, Sparkling rum. water. Spi- spirits. Uh. <laughs> mm, that's worse. Um, cool. Can I ask a question? Nope. Yep. Uh, shut up. Um, <laughs> um, how many primaries Steve got? Uh, Steve has got primary wise. Four, two, two, one. Uh, he's got thirty-five. And you've got 15. Okay. I just want to deny you points because I don't want you to get 100. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is I'll go plus two yeah. move. And then I'm going to double move to hit, unsticky that, and then shoot the jackals. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. wow. What secondaries did you get, Jake? Oh, I haven't done that yet. No prisoners. Oh, cool. <laughs> no prisoners. Assass- oh, cool. Right, <laughs> amazing. Um, so basically, I've got no prisoners assassination. So, cool. Um, temporal surge is a... I think I'm playing really well, Steve. So, um, yeah, what about what do you think? <laughs> I think you've. Uh, I think dr- you're playing really well, Steve. I think you've drew cards well, and I think you've rolled dice well. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's all you need, though. Better be lucky than good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but hey, but much better than that. Just yeah. be handsome. I learned that round the fire side, you know. Mm. Right. Um. What's the? What's he doing? What I'm trying you... to find how many cabal points doing the thing is. I don't think it really matters. What do you want to do? Ah, uh, just it doesn't matter. Just do it. Cool. Thanks. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you do care. You're lying. I'm going to Overwatch. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then he'll move to here. The, the other... chat, honestly, the comments going to be like, it's so awkward watching these two. They don't even like each other. We don't like it's each so other. Heated. No, we don't. We love each other. I don't. In a friendship way. Well, we can love each other. We can, but 2023, mate, get the times. Amy could be watching, um, and then I'm in a real situation. <laughs> she knows we're close. She'll be but... like, oh, thank goodness. Yes. He's off my hands. Down gently. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. I'll do, just actually make sure I can do that. I'll definitely have the move. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make sure. I, I knew that anyway. I just wanted to rub it in. Are you just talking to yourself? Yeah. Great. The only person that listens. Um, wow. Cool. I'm cool. listening, Jake. Someone Don't. Has, someone asked me. Um, All right. Uh, down to three cabal points. I got a free um, re-roll save. If it uh, let's do some shooting. So Magnus is going to shoot the jackals. Uh, I've got, I'll do the blast weapon first. How many unit models are in the unit? One, two, three, four, five. Very good counting. Oh, is that it? There's only five? Yeah. Um, I won't spend any strats. So D6 plus... Oh, wow. Um, so 10... <laughs> What's the ooh wow oh, <laughs> in conversion, please, mate? Uh, ooh. Ooh, ah, Harvey Barnes. Uh, <laughs> twos. So one dev wound and then uh, nine at minus one, two damage each. Do you want to just pick them up, mate? Because like, I've got loads of more shots. Thank you. You're a good sport like that. Right, well, I'll spend a CP and sticky this objective. I know. I couldn't, there's nothing I could have done about it. Either you get them points, you get those. You can have five for me. I'll let you have that. Um, then over here, I'll spend one CP so I can reroll um, hits and wounds with psychic weapons. Three. So, four. What's this? Four for what? Uh, his shots. Oh, his shots. Uh, I'll CP that. Go on then. Treat yourself. So, nine. Great. So I've got an eight CP. But... Um, fours re-rolling. Mm-hmm. Uh, so three dev wounds. Right. And then uh, four at minus two. Four at minus two? Yeah. Five ups. And then... Cool. Um, damage each? Uh, one damage each. So six up, feel no pains? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Cool. So four dead. Four wounds taken, so that's these two guys gone. Cool. And then the rest of them on thingy. I've been forgetting to do all the smites from the um, rubrics, like a lemon face. So yeah, you've really needed them. Yeah, I know. Um, where are they? I'll mm. do it. I'll do it now. We'll just say so then we can do Brilliant. it. Brilliant. Um, 
Is he infantry? Well, he would have been infantry when started shooting at him. So. Yeah. Coolio, uh, freeze, re-rolling because of the strap. Two hits. Um, Anti-infantry four up with death wounds. So one, feel no pain. Cool. Okay. Uh, so that's just a wound. Cool. Well, seven, he's got, I think he's got quite a few wounds, actually. That's all right, then. Hopefully. Seven? Uh, hopefully 26. Yeah. Quite yeah. an exact amount of wounds. Eight. So he's down to seven. Cool. And then Soul Reaper. Got more doesn't get re-rolled. Get some wounds here. Um, uh, one one dev wound. I, I can't re I can re-roll the wound. One dev wound, one at minus one. Dev wound. Minus one. So he takes a wound. Yep. Cool. And then flamers. Uh, 13. Uh, what's your toughness? Six. Six. So five, three rolling. Six is your extra EP, but your three up save anyway. Two up save. Oh, okay. So these these will be on your four ups. That will be on. So yeah, this guy's got two up save, cool. which is pretty cool. So four four ups and three three ups. Three three ups. Cool. Great. So you failed. Sixes. Cool. Yeah, he's down to four. And these are on four ups. Mm -hmm. Yep, brilliant. Fail three. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> sixes. Yeah. Cool. Down, down to two, two wings. And then uh, the wizard to uh, one at minus one. No, minus two, sorry. I'm okay. All good. And then the terminators. So I've got the combi weapons. Uh, Reroll ones. And then fives. Uh, no, they don't have anything special. So three at minus one. Okay. Are they not combi weapons? No, I just bolt it. Oh, just bolt it. Yeah. Am I getting cover here? No, I'm not, am I? No. Six up for no pain? Yeah. It's got one move left. I've got two saves to make. Yeah. Yeah. CP. Gonna have to, yeah. Supper? He's okay. And then he's um, more shots I get. Yeah, I'll yeah. Oh, God. Stay alive, Lord Avogado. Uh, two reroll ones. Uh, that's a lethal, and then uh, anti, anti four up. No, so just one minus three two damage. Come on, four up, four up, four up. Oh, for the love of goodness. <laughs> Sixes. He's dead. He's dead. Okay. I tabled you, Steve. You did. Hooray! It's over. And then um, I'll get no prisoners for five assassination for five. Okay. Cool. And then end of, the end of the game, you'll get five primary. And are there any cards? Investigate signals, which I couldn't have scored. Extend battle lines. Which you couldn't have scored. <laughs> Shame. Foley. Actually, you, does it just say you have to hold one of them? Because it may be the case. Oh, no, I think you just have to hold the no man's land for two. No, if only... If you only have one unit remaining in your army, which I don't. No. <laughs> and the next one is area denial. Uh, so no. No, cool. So no points for me. Cool. But you'll get five primary because you have that sticky. I will. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't get to go five. That was unfair. <laughs> How it works. Wow. <laughs> right, well, well Jake, not. what game. a great game. Good game, mate. T-Suns are brutal. They are very good. Yeah. They are. But that was, but the, your army's quite brutal. It hits very hard. Not as brutal as this, but... Still hits hard in combat. Yeah, you've got to get there, though. You just have to get there, yeah. You've got to get there, yeah. yeah. And I find with the World Eaters, once you're out there, you just when you're in the open, you just melt. Yeah. I don't think the 8 bounder survive survival enough for their points. No. They just die too fast. No. No, so, no, no. Um, Yeah, I mean, the fact that your little turn one, hmm. like, a couple of force weapons killed the three. The other thing as well, like, turn one is I could have made the charge harder and, like, all that stuff, but I decided to tank that for getting... You can split the... You don't have to just hit who you charged anymore. So that's, well, like, my bad, but... But what I'm saying is... Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, he's, he tanked a whole unit of eight bound. That little unit just killed oh, three of three, mine. Yeah. It's, it's silly. It's absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. Ludicrous. Right, so anyway, did the chat enjoy the game? Yeah. Yeah? yeah how brutal it was, yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Is this a record time? So what is the time? 20 past nine. Wow, that's yeah. good. Record well, time. Rewrap it. Let's go again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a tired boy and I've got to work and then we, we're, we're going to Birmingham tomorrow. So. We are going to Birmingham tomorrow. Yeah, yeah see, see Jack. Jack yeah. So, and then yeah. we're up to obviously the outpost. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have a bit of a tour at the moment. So we are. Yeah, okay, so what was the score? So obviously you don't automatically lose because you've been tabled. Just wanted to clarify that because we have had a, qu a question about that in the in the chat nope um but jake you got an honorable 65 points oh not even 69 that's oh. what i was hoping for 
But I didn't, you didn't get 100, that's what matters. <laughs> Definitely get 100. After last week, after this weekend. Steve. Yes. You got 84! Wait! Hey. If you got 88 or 69, yeah. nice. that would have been the best way to end Should we it. just say I got 88 and you got 69? Yeah, why not? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Good game. points. Good game. Boggle roll. Yes. <laughs> hey, I had well, good fun. Thanks for that. No, it was a good game. It was fun using a thousand suns. Thanks, Ben, for letting us use your thousand suns. Yeah, thank you very much. Awesome to see the World Eaters back on the table looking beautiful as well. Yeah, they look Thank amazing. you, Little People Painter. And um, guys, remember, if you like the terrain and you just, you know, out, after the end of the game, you're like, cool, we just want to pack up real quick. Yeah. It's, you know, easily done, right? Just, you can do it this quick. It's nice and easy. And it goes How back durable are they? How that, durable? That's, that's a, bit, a question that, like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm are they, are they going to get damaged each time you're putting them away and stuff? Like, is that something that's... Like, if you put them away in the boxes properly, it will be fine. I mean, I actually think it's fairly sturdy. Look, over time, you'll probably see that at the end of the day, it is, it is cut like any sort of board game. You get a little bit of like kind of where the paint splits slightly down mm. the middle. But I actually think I on think the whole... These are durable. These yeah. are good. Um, and yeah, like... That's fine. So. Yeah, there are a few little um, bits which are velcroed down. So what you need to do is make sure you unvelcro it before you uh, basically fold it, yeah. because otherwise you'll you know rip it quite quickly. So yeah, just make like sure. These bit. Like there's a little tab here. Yeah. So what you can do is just take that off first, and then it folds up pretty neatly. Ooh, but nice. yeah, it, look, it's going to go away so easily back in its box. And if you want to get a set of this, then jump on the Kickstarter. Uh, what do people think, by the way? Let me know. Let us know in the comments and also the chat. You know, what do you it's think? Good. Is this a good idea as a sort of? Is it? Does it solve a problem? Is I it think, a solution? I think for. I think it's definitely a plug in the wargaming industry that doesn't have it. Yeah. Because again, for the casual player, for people that don't have a lot of space at home, this is this sort of thing is fantastic. Yeah. And especially at a price point, that's really good. I mean, like um, people like Jack, right? Yeah. Jack. Jack. He doesn't have the biggest place. Well, who wants to play 40k? I wasn't going to go for that. I was actually going to go down the route of no. Jack can never be bothered to paint terrain. Oh, well, that's also that, yeah. Or build it. Yeah. So here it is yeah. straight out of the box. Yeah. You've got a million and one uses for it. It's just about finding the right one for you. You may yeah. find it's not for you, but I think for, it does have a use for everybody. Yeah. So. And it also means you don't need a mat either. That is, no. you know, we've used the mat upside down. If you do have a mat, it just gives it a bit more grip. Yeah. But that being said, it's a great way of doing it. So, um, yeah, do check out the Kickstarter. Thank you so much for all the Super Chats, all the members. Um, and remember, if you want to jump on the Academy for next time it enrolls, there is a waiting list at the moment for next time. But thank you so much, Jake. You've been a great opponent, as always. And you have been Stephen Box. I have been. Jordan, <laughs> fantastic commentary. Thank you, bro. And Seb, great camera work and commentary also. You got it. See you next week. For our Votan. Game. Black Templars. Back. The Crusaders back versus the Votan. Let's do it. Fist bump. Oh. See you later.